like to start serious uh, on a serious note uh, and give a shout out to someone that uh, I know has their eyes glued and uh, just waiting to hear um, gross meow. <laughs> Well, hello, boys and girls. Hi. What a wonderful day it is today in our money-based economy. Pants are being well, peed right now. Sit back and relax and get ready for the guy who's about to ruin everything. I'm puzzled. Uh, are you really seriously suggesting that Jesus Christ was a mushroom? Wait. Jesus was a mushroom Roberts. Yes. You are dealing with a, a secret cult, a secret society. Welcome to Waning Interest. Welcome, welcome to the Winning Interest Podcast, number uno, tres uno, April 13th, 2024, the babbling dabbler, the smallest click on the internet, the pinball brain in your favorite machine, it's like a diary or a book, but not as stale, oh, coherent, from a more mentally challenged fourth go, or if Mikey and Mouth from the Goonies played a lot of bareback leapfrog, and then... Uh, Susie and I squeezed out. Rumble, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, all those links. Uh, Spotify, Apple, all those links in the description, wherever you're... Oh, oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I didn't run the brush through. Good enough. Man, I can't wait to... Oh, hi, Susie. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you started on a serious note. I'm better now, but I almost avoided a crisis before the show. You almost you you almost avoided, or you did avoid? Or I avoided it. I'm sorry. I almost had a crisis, but I avoided it before the show. I didn't want to tell you because I wanted you to be like chill, you know, for your open. So. Was, I, was I chill? You were. Yeah. What was the crisis? Are you gonna let us know? <laughs> I was almost not able to open my bottle of wine. Get out. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Did it get the, the, the cork got stuck? I just, I didn't have the like strength. A, like dogs fucking? I did not have the strength. And the sad thing is, is that I'm, it's just me, my father-in-law and Max, and I'm the one that opens stuff for them. So there was no way anybody here was going to open that bottle of wine. So how did you get it? So... I had to incorporate my cuticle cutter into the, <laughs> yeah, it was a mess, but. You had I to stick go. that down into the cork and uh, poke it around a little bit? Um, yeah, well, I couldn't Filthy get girl. the, um, it, it was, it was a mess. I don't even want to talk about it. I almost cried. <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> We were going to have to cancel the show because, you know. <laughs> was I it can't. getting to the point where you're like, I'm just going to break the neck of this fucking bottle? Fuck it. I did that a few times with uh, Two Buck Chuck when I lived in L.A. It used to be, there was a day uh, right before 2005 when I quit drinking. There was there was many months where I I would go to the store two or three times a week. And uh, and it was right across the street, so I didn't have to worry about the shitty Trader Joe's parking lot. I didn't have to drive. Mm-hmm. And uh, one was the nice part, and the other part was the two buck chuck. And uh, I could not, I, I wouldn't, I never, I didn't, for, there was there was a while there where I didn't walk out of that fucking store with at least two bottles. Uh, two, you know, two, three times a week. And, uh, yeah, and then it got to a point when I quit, I was like a bottle and a half a night. Whoa. Uh, yeah. And I was like, man, why are my ankles so tight? Is it the sulfates? What's the point of the fucking filter? Every time I, I even if even if I take a little suck, mm -hmm. I get shit in my mouth. I'm tired of getting shit in my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Maybe your mouth needs a filter. You know, many people have said that. <laughs> And I just won't listen. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I, uh, I, I uh, what's this one? I just won't listen. Oh, shit. Mama bear. 
<laughs> oh, did you want to see the other angle of that? Okay, sure. To Tommy Jones' reign on television. <laughs> so intense, my God. Fucking love that guy. Oh, in the same show, though, in the same show. He's bowling Ryan Schaefer. And he recovered from his tough year and win today. Look out, Brooklyn strike. Watch what Ryan Bruce does. This is over the head pin. <laughs> <laughs> little dance there. Yeah, the river dance. Who knew bowlers were so jovial? Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was uh, that was quite a show to watch. <laughs> and then and then and then and then that week there was a thing there, and they talked about it during the show because Ryan, mm -hmm. Ryan, did he go the ladder? He went up the ladder, so because you know, I think Pete was leading, so Pete only had the one game, but Ryan had bowled before, and he was getting shit from the crowd, and he had gotten shit from the crowd during uh, the 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 uh, match play and stuff because during the week he and norm duke had gotten into a big fucking screaming match mm -hmm. and norm duke has got a whole you know a legion of fucking fans you know the the dukes i think that's what they're called anyway they gave ryan a lot of shit the rest of the fucking week and he still made the show and everything and then pete and then he loses on a couple bad you know they both neither one of they, they both bowled equally eh because mm -hmm. uh, the lanes were breaking down and stuff, and uh, Ryan got some bad breaks, and then, but this is Pete. Basically, fuck Mama Bear. Ain't she a sexy bitch? Um, Tracy. Uh, yeah, that's Pete after he won, and then you know, fucking saying all a bunch of nice things to Ryan and what a, you know how tough he was for putting up with the shit that he put up with from the Duke fans. And what it was about, I think, was you know, remember when I said I was going to talk about bowling? Mm -hmm. I fucking <laughs> I was telling the truth. Hey, wait a minute, let me look at my notes. That was not. No, it's not. <laughs> I didn't. I, I hadn't even looked at these notes and. Um, All right. Well, I'm going to talk about Foley catheters then. Oh, this is going to get dirty. Yummy. Mm -hmm. um, All right, go ahead. And then, uh, but then. And to Tommy Jones reign on television. I need to clip it. I need to clip it for just that little piece there. Sports Center's next. So I, after every after every great line that you have, Sports Center's next. Kind of like the, uh, kind of like David Tell. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was I saying? What the hell was I saying? <sighs> Something about Ryan. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, taking all that shit, and uh, and Ryan's also a diabetic, so they he has that. They see a lot of times with the bowlers, they have this little pack you can see on the back of their belt, and that's for their wireless mic. That when that's mm -hmm. what you know, like Pete. Well, Ryan doesn't have that. What he well, sometimes he wears it, so you'll see two of them. Because he has another thing that's an insulin thing that he would wear on his belt, a little injector thing that he'd have. Because mm -hmm. he's uh, diabetic. So, uh, there were. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Wow. But, uh, what's about, what about the catheters again? No, I'm not going to tell you. Dang it. That, you, that's fucking cheating. You know, that's fucking. That's for private crazy. talk. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> Did you say private talk? That's for private talk. <laughs> Who is we sucker? Did that did that did that play good? Who is we sucker? Who is we sucker? Well, yeah, it came not, through. We're not just gonna let you walk out of here. All right, I gotta get Mike back up. Crazy. All right, and then set it up that way. So then I. My favorite just... hair. Fucking crazy. <laughs> I know why he wears that hair. In case somebody throws a bowling ball at him. That was a great line. Great line. He can ride motorcycles with that hair. <laughs> Poor Mike. Jesus. For you real. just destroy that motherfucker. Fucking crazy. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Um, 
Oh, yeah, Susanna Song. Still waiting for some more lyrics on uh, Susanna Song. Not Rosanna, but Susanna. Uh, right. I have an idea. Uh-oh. Let's just let's just add banana to it. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Because <laughs> we keep asking for no banana. Yeah, yeah. All the bananas you want, everybody. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's okay. I have tough skin. Uh. <laughs> Do it. All right. So what else is going on with you uh, besides um, uh, not being able to open your bottle and your, uh, uh, yeah, to stick your catheter in it? It was, yeah. That was... Oh, is that what you did? That's what you did. You used your catheter skills to get in that wine bottle. Hmm. No. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. I um, wish it was that funny. No. <laughs> so what else is going on? Um, oh, Sarah's at Grad Bash tonight at Universal. Grad did, bash. So did they, they didn't do that in your state, did they? Like, I guess not. It's a we Florida had, thing, I think. Well, we had senior night. Mm-hmm. We went up to Sunday River. Okay. Right? Yeah, similar stuff, I guess. I think so it was Sunday River. And that was, was the first time that I saw the Firewoman, uh, the cult Firewoman video. Oh, okay. Uh, at playing in the thing because they had MTV yeah. on in the, one of the rooms. and whatever. How funny. But, MTV with music and videos. Yeah, remember, um, yeah, what a, what a concept. remember when that used to happen? Um, so Grad Bash is at Universal Studios. So, you know, they uh, close the park early and then the high, all the high school, well, a chunk of high schools because they rotate, you know, um, groups of high schools, different weekends or whatever. When I was in high school, it was um, Grad Night at Disney. And it was at Magic Kingdom. Um, but they they don't do it anymore. Now it's Universal does grad batch, so they're there. They should, when I when we were talking earlier, and I said, "Oh, that's Sarah." So she texts me. She's got a eyebrow piercing. And does she? She texts me, and she's like, "I lost my piercing in one of the rides." <laughs> because she we had taken it off, and she got her eyebrows done for prom, right? And when we put it back, we didn't tighten it as tight as, you know, she had it before because the eyebrow lady was having a hard time getting the piercing off. Um, So I guess it wasn't tight enough. And yeah, she lost it in one of the rides. She just texted me. She's like, I lost it. I'm like, well, we'll just go get another one, I guess. My first my first earring when I I, I got my ear, my left ear pierced when I was in Australia when I was 18 Mm -hmm. and uh, I lost that earring. When I got arrested, because uh, they made me take it off. Did I tell you that in story? In Australia? Yeah. In Australia? Oh. Mm-hmm. In, when you in, threw the hot dog? Yes. <laughs> when I when I accidentally almost hit a cop on a horse with a hot dog. Hey, everybody. It's illegal to throw hot dogs in Australia. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Mate. Well, at, least, at least don't throw, don't make it whiz by a fucking cop's head. Apparently, I didn't even see it, so I don't even know. Everybody else saw it because I was mm-hmm. looking. I, mean, I just went. I was just. I thought. I. I was also. Well, on the other hand, I had a bottle of Maduri that I was sucking on after all the other alcohol I'd had. It was just after. Uh, it was 1990. It was. An, it was what? An, I think it was like one. Th- I don't know. Somewhere around one o'clock in the morning on 1990, because we were down. We were in Torquay, a small beach town south of melbourne uh for new year's on the beach and uh and it had already you know already did the thing so it was about an hour later and just yeah and i had a bottle and i was talking to the guy that i was with uh, one of the guys that i knew from all the other people mm-hmm. you know, there was the group a whole bunch it was the group thing it's <laughs> disgusting uh especially with all that sand anyway uh 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 yeah, we were walking through this thing, and of course, I was hammered and stoned, and I was talking, and I just went, ah, and as I was talking, I went like this. I thought it was just trees. <laughs> so everybody else saw it go, zing, <laughs> keep walking, don't turn around, keep walking, don't, do- why, what happened, why, just keep walking, okay. why, what happened, and all of a sudden, whoop, right by the back of my hair, into the paddy nice. wagon, into the paddy wagon. Oh, they took you in a paddy wagon. Oh, yeah. And we were sitting in that fucking thing for a while, boiling, because it was summertime. And uh, I, luckily, I was wearing pants, because the dude that was already in there was wasted. 
and puked all over my leg. Oh, gross. And then they threw in this big, big dude, like almost like a Thor dude. And he was not happy. And then off to the thing, and it was a house. It was a, the police station was a fucking house. That's how small this town was. It was so uh, oh. small, such a small population, but people flooded there for, for uh, holidays. Uh, it was a house, so I got booked in the, in the kitchen. <laughs> so, and, but when they did, the point being that when they did, and it's a, the whole thing, and they told me to take, I had to take my earring off. So, and when I did, I went boom, and it went flying, and they never fucking found it. Like the hot dog. It was probably with the hot dog somewhere. They probably had the hot... Yeah, they probably stuck it in the hot dog and it's probably sitting on a shelf. <gasps> and that, that cunty American. Oh, man. That cunty American that fucking almost hit me in the head. Nice. Um, it was a house. They hung it on just like I had the arrest re- my, my uh, arrest thing. I, I had that piece of paper stuck to my wall like a poster. Oh, years. you should have framed it. I should have, but I, I should have, but it, either way, it, it was on that paper where it started to fade after a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like it. the tickets, like the traffic tickets. Yeah. Oh, man. But the end of the story, though, so that's the kitchen. And then, so the jail cell. <laughs> the bathroom. The jail, <laughs> you would think. <laughs> but almost, pretty close. Then they take us out, out to the, the backyard, and there's t- like two big tool sheds that are reinforced. <laughs> The left oh, one nice. was for the ladies, and the one on the right was for the dudes. That fucking thing was there was like I think the, I think it was forty six guys, the highest count we had in there, stuffed in there, and everybody oh, wow. was basically sitting in there for three hours, drunk and disorderly, all these different things. Oh then, man! Yeah, and it got to it was so boiling in there, and the dude that had puked on my leg. Mm-hmm. They dragged him in there, and he there was a toilet in the corner. He wrapped himself around that toilet. And a couple of times, there was the big dude that they, the Thor-like guy, was standing near him or whatever. We're all kind of like against the wall, you know, like in the square. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of times, the dude rolled on his foot, and he just started kicking him. This guy's basically unconscious, and he's just fucking kicking the shit out of him. He's got his boots on. I felt so bad for that dude. But anyway, and we all figured out this time thing where... Uh, when the air was going to, uh, certain times, and air, air was going to blast through the vent right above the door. Mm-hmm. So we'd all be ready for it. And they, <laughs> oh, we could hear it. It's coming. I think it's coming. And we'd all kind of, everybody stand up and just, as soon as that blast, we go. Oh, wow. We were just fucking in there boiling because it, it was summer. And even though oh, it was in the middle of the night, it was fucking, you know, one o'clock. One, I was there in there from like one till four in the morning. I was in there for like three and a half hours. It was supposed to be for two and a half hours, supposed to be like three or whatever. But luckily, uh-huh. I've been in, uh, luckily, but the funny part is, I've, I've been there for drunken disorder. I didn't hurt anybody. <laughs> and at one point, they open the door and throw a couple of guys in. And one of the dudes comes walking towards me because I'm sort of standing in the middle of the room. And I went, Hey, I know you. He goes, I know you. <laughs> oh, man. He was the ex boyfriend of my friend Simon's new girlfriend. I had been to this guy's house party and, and I actually was so fucked up and they were a bunch of them were over there doing shit in the room and I'm at his weight bench and I decided to get in the get in the thing and start fucking doing this and it got to the point Oh guys, 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 guys I'm too fucked up. Wait. I can't the weight There was, was a weight a bench weight. in there? Yeah, his in his room he had a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, it was cool. It oh, was not like in a, the jail cell. No, this was oh. <laughs> month this was like a month before okay, okay. back in Melbourne I had partied with mm-hmm. this guy. That's how I knew him. Oh man! And then the I was gonna funniest... ask you. Oh, go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Uh, but the look, funniest the, thing. The weird, the funniest part, and lucky for me, because I had no idea where the fuck I was, where this hat, where this room, where this police station was, according to, to the beach and where people I knew were and stuff, because we were in a paddy wagon. It's not like there's windows where so you can go hi. Mm-hmm. Um, I had no idea where the <laughs> fuck I was. And this guy, he gets thrown in, and. Uh, and uh, so we start talking. And I go, oh, what, what? he goes, mate, mate, what are you, what are you in here for? And I went, I drunk and disorderly. They said I almost hit a cop with a hot dog, just trying to chuck it into the woods. And I go, what are you in here for? And he goes, knife fight. <laughs> yeah. Makes and sense. then, so you'd think that he's gonna spend more time in there, right? He got out before you. No, he got out with me. <laughs> 
I've been in there for two and a half hours or two hours already. And then the fucking, I'm like, oh, it's going to be countdown time. Oh, you know, uh, hopefully I'll catch up with you when I get thrown out. You know, we'll see running to each other again when uh, cause we're assuming that I'm going to be leaving way before him. When they fucking call names, they call their both names at the same time. Like, Dude, man. You had a good lawyer. I should have had a goddamn <laughs> knife. I'd have got out and gotten out quicker. But luckily for me, that, because then I had somebody to go, you know, find where the fuck we were supposed to be. And then we found my friend Dick. We found my dick. Mm-hmm. We found my dick on the beach in a Volkswagen bus. Uh, one of those little, you know, yeah, that's what Dick had. So that's what the hot dog, that's the hot dog you threw. (laughs) I went back to my hot dog, Mm -hmm. Dick. No, Dick, uh, he was Andrea, he was a friend of Andrea's and uh, uh, we became, but he basically, this dude was the Australian Jeff Spicoli from Fast Times, Richmond High. He was Sean Penn, but Australian with dark hair. (laughs) Surfer, VW bus thing, you know, fucking stoner. and, And that was the greatest bowl of fucking weed I ever smoked. When we get when we got back to the beach, me and this dude, I can't remember his name, I think it was Rick. Um and we found uh we found we saw the VW but I'm like, Dude, there's Dick, there's Dick. <laughs> that was me. There's Dick and everybody's going, and, What's up and with the, this American <laughs> And then he got arrested for a solicitation? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get to my deck. I swear to God, my dick is in that Volkswagen. Um, so yeah, we get we get to the fucking bus and uh, and he had just started. He had just fucking apparently just uh, wrapped himself up to go to sleep or whatever, and fucking dink dink dink. Now you know dink 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 on Dick's thing. Mm-hmm. Um, quattro, uh, and he like lit right up. Fucking slid that. Dude, I heard you got pinched. <laughs> I heard you got pinched. Anyway, me and uh, Rick or whatever, he knew him, of course. They all knew, you know, it's a small community. They knew each other as well, as long as Simon, you know. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, we get in the fucking, we get in that thing, I get all comfy in that blanket, my shit that I had there, and I just watched him just, a little cereal bowl with the weed and sprinkles a cigarette in there, you know, for the spliff thing, packs up. That was the greatest bowl I ever smoked in my life after fucking three and a half hours in that that uh, sweaty man cell. Boy, it's disgusting. So how did you get out? Did they just have like a minimum time you have to be in there or somebody? Yeah, that's what they said. Everybody bail? was going to, that's what they said. Everybody was going to be in for three and a half to four hours. Okay. And that's why I kind of knew when I was going to be getting out and I'm like, Rick, fucking, dude, you only got to, see, you didn't even have to spend half the time I was in there. And this motherfucker was, you know, in a, he had a weapon. All I had was a, was a dong. So was everybody in there for drunken disorderly? Any murderers? Most, most everybody was, yeah, most everybody was just drunken disorderly because everybody's fucked yeah. up. It's New Year's Day, New Year's Eve and the whole party. That's what that happened every year. And, and oh, and here's and the best part. The, the, here's the kappa. Here's mm-hmm. the kappa. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, the the cops were weren't really paying attention or were just as drunk as us, because it was now it was January. This was January first, nineteen ninety. Mm-hmm. Well, on my little thing, they said that uh, on my little thing, they they told me that I had to go to court February first, nineteen eighty nine. Oh, <laughs> that was one of the reasons why I kept it. Like. Oops, because you can read it. You could see arrest in the February, January first, nineteen ninety. Yeah. Court date February first, nineteen eighty nine. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, uh, no. I don't have a DeLorean. <laughs> and what day did I leave? February first. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I lost my earring. So yeah, it's probably stuck in a hot dog somewhere still, laying yeah. on the beach. <laughs> With sand all over it, you know, kind of like that sandy, uh, that sandy hot dog that uh, YouTube likes to shove up my bung. Yeah. Well. Or the the whip bung, dude. I'm watching more, watching more views disappear. <laughs> yeah, they so go good. backwards. Yeah, and how and, and they go backwards when mm-hmm. you know, and what we got a hundred and what is it a hundred only one hundred and eighteen subscribers. 
and those small views and then i got what seven followers on rumble and you know we got triple the views mm -hmm. oh correction just... we have 119 thank you whoever just subscribed oh, that was by my mom thanks i want to believe she was already subscribed yeah and uh, yeah so, oh, so going back to this grad night thing. So when I was in school, it was grad. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I steal the conversation? Yes. Anyway. Um, no, so it was grad night at Disney and it was the same thing where, you know, they close it early and then the schools go and you're there all night. Like she's going to be back at three. And she, she, they got there at five before six, I think, or six o'clock, whatever. So they've been there for a bit. Um, but yeah, for us, it was grad night and, um, when I was remembering uh, my grad night, they had live music. I don't think they're doing that here, but we had like live music and our, our headliners were Glass Tiger. Do you remember Glass Tiger? I know that. I remember that name. Yeah. Don't forget me when I'm gone. Remember that, oh, that song? Oh, that was sweet. We got, there's a clip. And I think I know you, I think I know the song you're talking about. And Bobby Brown. Bobby, the Bobby Brown. The Bobby Brown. I you know got crack to see is him. whack. It is. <laughs> yep. That's who we saw. We there were like other music, you know, musical acts, but I, I don't think I went to see them. I did see Glass Tiger and I did see Bobby Brown. Because I'm old. So this this so you graduate I graduated nine, so you were eighty seven, right? Eighty seven. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. So that was before Wow. Before what? Before the wheel? <laughs> before electricity? <laughs> <coughs> no, before Bobby was Bobby, before he was, you know, super huge. No, I mean, I mean he, he was, was already man, on his he, own. Yeah. Right, but he was not, you know. He, well, yeah. I don't think he was married to Whitney Houston yet. Oh, no, no, no. No, that was uh, 87. That would, oh, no. No, I guess it was about 85 when I was masturbating to her videos. Mm. Um. <laughs> so, you know, they had a house in, they had a house, I think, in Miami Beach. Or she I'm had sure a house. sure they did, yeah. She had a house in Miami Beach. And um, my friend and I went, oh, God, I can't remember the name of the restaurant. It was a nice restaurant. And uh, as we're walking out, Whitney Houston is walking in with her entourage. It was As like I a steakhouse. I was steak walking house out. Whitney was walking in. But here's the thing about her, and I heard this about her. Everywhere she went, as she's going anywhere, she's singing her songs. Like, she's walking in singing. <laughs> so, I mean, there was no doubt that it was Whitney Houston walking into the restaurant. Which song was she singing? I, I want to dance with somebody. No, no. That was the one I used him. to masturbate to. Oh, no, it that, wasn't that, that one. I think that's the one where she's wearing that pink, that tight pink dress. I want to dance with somebody. Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so she used to just, you know, she would sing her songs as she's like, yeah. no, like you're like seeing her. You're not going to know that's Whitney Houston. I heart, I hardened a few socks to that video. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect to say that tonight. Oh, my God. We're only 30 minutes in. Woo! Really? Not even. Not even. Anyway, I'm gonna grad have to night. I'm going to back up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See my name? The voice of reason. Um, no, dude, I'm just now looking at that. because I <laughs> You didn't see that? I, I usually, that's usually the first thing I look for, but I don't know what my head was. You probably just saw Susie and then didn't read the rest. You know, kind of like everybody here does to me. I start talking and then, you know, they hear what they want to hear and they keep walking. I'm like, wait, I'm not done. What'd you say? <laughs> exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Even the dog does it to me. I'm like, yo, I wasn't done. Sheesh. Oh, did you speaking of that one? Did you see the? Did I send? Didn't I? Did I send on the Instagram? I sent you what, that that video with the golden retriever on the swing. 
Yes. Did you see that? I did. <laughs> oh, did you see the the little the kittens in the WrestleMania mm -hmm. ring? Oh, that's uh -huh. fucking great. Wayne lets, likes puppy and kitty videos. I do, I do, yeah, I see? do, I do, I do. That alone should make you love Wayne. Thank you. He watches puppy videos. Oh man, the cat stuff is just so goddamn funny. That's all I send to Sarah on Instagram. I always send her all the funny, you know, cat videos. She loves them. I love the ones with the where the where the their uh, the cats are just sitting there watching, or the dogs watching something on a big screen TV, and they just they think it's real and jump oh, at yeah, it yeah. if it's a bird or what. Um, they, they, oh, that fucking shit cracks me. <laughs> They're hilarious. There's one I just saw that um, this she she starts playing uh, Lion King. And the dog is walking towards her. She's like, hey, your favorite movie's on. And he hears the song start and he turns around and then he sits in front of the TV and he starts watching the movie. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh, and then there's that one. There's that one. That's, that there's uh, a human thought of that one uh, is the, I can't, it's, it's the Loki one where there's something where there's a shot where, where Tom Holland kind of looks in, toward, not Tom Holland, Tom uh, Hiddleston. Oh yeah, yeah. You know where he kind of and does he a reacts thing. If, like it looks like yeah. they're actually interacting. I can't yeah. remember what he does, like but the, yeah, with the screen. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. that one cracks yeah. me up. I've seen that one. Yeah, that's a. good I don't know one. if that's from an outtake of something or from Loki or what the hell that is, but because I, I don't mean, remember it. I mean, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it was I don't remember like it from part anything of the show. from. Yeah, from, but it looks like it has to be from. I don't remember maybe from it's an any outtake. movie or maybe it's from. I don't know. I can't remember the length of his hair, what his hair looks like. So I don't know if it's from that show because I didn't see season two of Loki. Uh, the first one, the first mm -hmm. season was so, well, what the fuck is this? I don't know. I like him so much that I don't care. I just watch it anyway. I, I mean, it. I liked it. Yeah. Oh. I like Tom Hiddleston. Oh. oh, I like him. He's saying, yeah, he's a great actor. He's fucking hilarious. And that, that He made that character. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is he, Susie? He's English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I thought you. <laughs> it's okay. He tells me. He tells me when he sees. <laughs> no, that's you when you see when you watch Tom Hiddleston. That's that's Susie. I mean, she becomes one. I liked him more than Thor. Like, I think Tom Hiddleston is. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, um, I, well, I'm a I'm a Chris Hemsworth kind of guy because you know the Australia tie. You would. You would. Well, yeah. he's Australian. Mm hmm. So what happened in that jail cell in those three and a half hours? Oh man, lots of sweat, lots of sweat, <laughs> and a lot of guys without their without their shirt on. <laughs> and uh, stinky. It was. Oh, it was so. It's. It, I don't want to use the word sucked, but I just did. Mm -hmm. It, uh, it well, was yeah, awful. I mean, it's got to suck. It was terrible because we were, yeah, you know, and, uh, and mainly just because it was so goddamn hot because it was, you know, January is like fucking August. Oh, summer over there. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. and, you know, yeah. and you're on the beach, but you're getting no air. You're in a, you know, this... It, uh, you know, it was like a fucking, re it was a reinforced tool shed is what it, and it just had an M on the front instead of an F. There was a couple times where I went over to the wall over there to just kind of lean against it to see if I could hear anything coming from the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so like there's, was there somewhere to sit or you guys just sit on the floor and one toilet? All there was was a toilet in the, in the corner. In the one left hand, if you were wow. when you walked in, it was basically straight ahead, and then the and then the room got a little bit bigger to the right. But so it here's wasn't what that you big. do. Here's what you do when you're in jail in Australia with one toilet and a tool shed. So like, if you have to, you so here you gotta um, you have to form well, an alliance. You gotta form an well, alliance. The first thing, the I, one thing I knew that I wasn't gonna do when I was uh -huh. on that toilet. <laughs> make those kind of noises no 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 <laughs> i waited until i knew it would just fall right out and i could stand right up and not mm -hmm. have to go uh, anyway no. you gotta form I an didn't alliance mean that. I meant... can i finish is just like here can i finish can i finish at my house i can't finish anything so 
You have to form an alliance. I would say, so, you know, at least four to six dudes have to form an alliance, right? <laughs> oh, they had that, but that was over in a corner and I wasn't ready no, for no, that no. yet. I was too young. This is, this is for <laughs> toilet breaks. So. And then while I was, and then when they were over there, I heard a bunch of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. We got we got three and a half hours, two and a half hours left. <laughs> so you form an alliance, right? And what you have to do is, so whenever one of you takes a potty break, the other four, six, or however many you have, Stand. then you're going to make a wall. You have to make a toilet stall. But you have to agree upon whether it's going to be Front facing or back facing, because you never know <laughs> if they may be into that. And they're like, well, if I'm going to be in this alliance, I got to watch you go. Then you're going to have to like kind of, you know, make some, you know. Hey, do you want to be facing me or facing away when I'm... <laughs> Either when that I'm, or... While I'm dropping mud. What you got to do is you got to you got to poll everybody before you form the alliance, and then you join you separate. Oh, now you got to bring out the polls, you yes. disgusting wench. Yes, you got to separate the front facing from the back facing group, <laughs> and then you form your alliance, which with I think that's which called top and bottom. <laughs> whichever one, whichever one floats your fancy, Wayne. If you like to be watched, then you pick. Oh, from that oh! Right side, after I did this, the there was something facing. floating. Oh my god, this is such a clown show. I love it. But you know what I'm saying? I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> and you could take the poll whichever way you want. Like you can write, <laughs> you can do like you can write it out, you know? Remember in elementary school you'd write a note and you'd be like, "Do you like me? Yes or no?" So if they check oh, off... Oh, I thought you meant get on your knees or bend over. No, 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 no. So you get a piece of... You get like a big piece of paper, right? And oh you're my God, I got to send a note first. Was it 46? <laughs> was it 46 people? 46? So you're going to oh. need 46. You're going to need 46 notes. Oh so on each of those... And they're all going to be like, why is Wayne in the corner writing like... <laughs> So, and they're all going to be the same. It's really easy because you're going to just write the same thing over and over again. Do you like me? Yes, no. Check one of the boxes. You separate the yeses from the noes. You you can safely, you can safely consider Speaking of that. noes, mine's clogged. <laughs> the ones that checked off yes are the ones that are going to want to face you while you're in the bathroom. Oh, I'm so glad I brought this. Okay. <laughs> And then what? I don't think anybody's gonna want to face me after that. Whatever your preference is, you pick from that group. Uh, this is going way too long. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's that's the button. That's, that's the, the button. Pino, Pino Grigio talking right now. I've, I should change my name. I think I've lost the um, voice of reason. I might have to erase it. the voice no, of man. Pinot Grigio. I think I might have to change it to that. My diaphragm feels like a fucking, <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm, my belly. No, you're doing just fine. Did you pee a little? Oh, I didn't check that part. But my diaphragm have. is, uh, oh, my God. I'm... You might have. Ooh, I feel like Checks I've done. Like Susie Box. <laughs> I feel like I've done fucking twenty five sit ups. Oh man, you're welcome. Ugh. That's your workout for tonight. <laughs> Jesus, seriously, that's what it feels like. <laughs> and I ain't done any sit ups in a long time. Oh man. The tea make it hard, if I can say that. Thanks, Neil. Ugh. Fucking a, that was great. All right, what is this here? I'm oh. That is Wayne, another Wayne visual. Little loud. Little That's loud. what the eclipse should have been like. <laughs> All right, we got to see that again.
Wayne Visual Instagram. He's got some cool stuff. That's some badass shit. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What's this one? Another one you sent me. I like that one. I love Alice in Wonderland. Look at all that mushy. You like the end. Oh, well, it doesn't stop. That's right. Oh, yeah, there you go. I ended it on that one. How about that shit, son? Forever and a day, my favorite movie for my whole life will always be Alice in Wonderland. I love that movie. And then um, the other one is uh, Wizard of Oz. Have you ever seen the the heavy? Oh, dude, dude, dude. First, let me play this, and then I'm going to ask a question. Okay. Looks like a uh, umbrella, huh? Um, have you ever seen the Kate Beckinsale version of uh, Alice in Wonderland? Um, it's so adorable. That's the Anthony uh, Newley is in it. I think he plays the Mad. That's the Hatter. live action Alice. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a oh, live not one. the Johnny Depp one. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. no, it's, no, no. It was way I... before that. I found it when I was my ex girlfriend in California, uh, going through the Netflix kids thing with her daughter. Like, mm-hmm. wanted to watch something. I'm like, I haven't been through here. What's on here? And I saw it. Then I went, Was that Kate Beckinsale? As I'm scrolling through, like, Allison, what? She, what? And she's really young and she's yeah. got, uh, she's still got baby fat cheeks. So adorable. Stop, stop, stop saying her name. Why? Remember. She has that restraint order against you. Oh. I don't know if it includes Shit. you talking about her on podcast, but now I got it. You want to take some extra God. precautions. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have said her last name. Oh boy. Listen, I don't have money to bail you out of jail, so No, apparently she's sick actually. Seriously, uh hmm. uh she she's sick. Uh, I just saw really? something. I think I saw it on Yahoo News and she uh she was in the hospital for something. Oh, I'm not going to say so I can't help but think it might have something to do with the V. Anyway. Um. Oh, she's so young. Wow. I yeah, didn't know well, that. It doesn't matter how old you are when you get that No, thing. I know. I know, but. All uh, right. We got some interesting uh, comments. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I see James. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Kate, we were talking about Kate, Kate. Kate. in the hospital. Yeah. She's young when Before you get the, the thing. Uh, why did I spring? Oh, doesn't oh, matter how Alice old you are. No, the, the Alice oh, the Alice, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's on the, uh, at least it was. I don't know. This was years ago. I'll search it uh, up. On It was on Netflix. Yeah, pull up some, yeah, uh, if you can get a picture. Uh, or I'll do a screenshot and uh, Let me see if, if I, I can find it. Find it. So that would ah, we you. said find it. Jinx, you got to buy me a Coke, even though I don't drink Coke, but it's okay. You got to buy it anyway. I don't drink it either. Oh, why don't we just do a bump? Well, buy me something. Okay. We'll just, do, we'll just do a rail together. No. <laughs> no. That sounded so funny. Yeah, because I'm sure, you know, you're a nurse, so you could be there if, you know, if there's anything bad with it. No, we test it first, of course. Uh <laughs> that's the new uh, the new way to okay. make the new way to make money in drug business. Uh, so it's Alice through the looking kits. glass is what it is. Alice through the looking glass. Yup, nineteen ninety eight. Wow. Yeah, and cool. there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, uh, well known actors in it. Look how young she is. Look how cute. Oh, yeah. Do, do I need to bring something up over here? Are you able to bring it up, or are you gonna? I do you want me to screenshot or something and send it? Trying. Oh, I wasn't sure. Oh, no, I, I it's do. not. I'm not rushing you, Mama dear. I'm just asking if what you need me to do. I love how you get so. Um, <laughs> well, we're not <laughs> so just gonna flustered. let you walk out of here. I love how you get flustered. Smith, Wesson, and me. Oh, there's a wow. question while you're doing that. Did you see, okay. did you watch Outlaw, Outlaw Josie Wales yet? Dude. 
I've been working, bro. You were yeah. Well, you were supposed to watch it Bruh. last Sunday. You said you were going to watch trying to it last get Sunday. urine out of an old lady that I could. I'm going to talk about it later. Don't worry about it. Speaking of urine, uh, <laughs> don't say speaking of um, Wayne. But that was but that was must have been recent. No, you were supposed to watch it last Sunday, and then and then uh, and then back to back with Arthur. Remember? What did I do last Sunday? Oh, that's right. Oh, I that's right. Worked. You didn't watch Outlaw Josie Wills or Arthur. <laughs> Look at that. Ella, Th see Ian Holm, Steve Coogan, Jeffrey Palmer. Don't know who the fuck that is. You know what? Many of those people know. You know who Ian Holm is. Ian Holm. Uh, do I? Yeah. Do I? If do I'm I, not what do I know him from? Uh, oh. The first. Jesus, you sorry, man. Dad. man. Good thing yeah. I have big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they protect me from many things. <coughs> All right, where do I know Ian? Oops, wait. Where do I know Ian home from? Uh, pull it up, as Mark Norman would say. Um, Ian Holm, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, he was the uh, he, alien is one that you would know him. He was the uh, the 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 replicant the not replicant that's uh oh, look he's an actor yes yes Ian oh Hall. yep i know who he, he is the, oh he, was God, the, so... he was the he was the uh artificial person well, i can't mm -hmm, remember what mm -hmm, they called it mm -hmm, an alien mm -hmm, and then bishop mm -hmm. and then bishop uh, lance henriksen was in aliens he was the uh he was the uh the, the one with the milk blood okay and then who is steve coogan all right i'll look it up don't tell me hold up because you're going to make me do homework anyway. Yes, I is. Oh, you'll know Steve Coogan. He's been in a bunch of shit. Steve Coogan, he was oh, in... Uh, that guy, he's Irish. Okay. He's been... He was the director in... Wasn't he the director in... Uh, he was in Tropic Thunder. The was director. he the director? Yeah, he was, he the, was the guy the that played the director. Ah, he, yes. He, that motherfucker okay. got blown to bits. I see that. He, he got mo motherfucker blown to bits. That's my new catchphrase. Blown the belts. You know what? It just ended. It's no longer my catchphrase. Oh, that was <laughs> that was a quick relationship. Wait, you had a catchphrase? I just forgot it. Babies. I forgot what it was. I just said it. What was Do it? Not, uh, what was I just saying? I just, I've already forgotten it. See, that's how I move on. I move on quickly. The Pino was talking to me. I couldn't hear you. I'm so sorry. That's fine. That's what it's supposed to be. We're, mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, is our bar. Mm -hmm. The whip is our bar. It oh, is. there you go. There you go. There's a, there's we need a, a bartender, phrase. though. There's a, there's a catchphrase. The whip is our bar. Well, I get prepared, and I just bring a bunch over here. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm going to have to take a break soon, because see that? I don't blame you. Are you. Is there any other picks? I thought, are you going to pull, are you going to pull oh, anything else for up? you? Hold on. Yeah. So, so there was that. So welcome back, Kate. I wanted to put something on there, but didn't have any time. <laughs> I wanted fine. to say, welcome back, Kate. She's, <laughs> She's a lovely uh, car. Excuse me. She's what? She's a lovely car. Although white SUVs are usually driven by bad bitches. Are you a bad bitch? I'm a bad bitch. Okay, well, then I'm I guess. A bad bitch. I there guess. you go. There's my new catchphrase. <laughs> you can drive bitch. it then, I guess. All right, we have more pictures. Do we? Do we? Do we? It's the real Millennium Falcon. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Uh, Brandon sent me that. Not a single I... thumb was hurt. Fucking... And you know what I... <laughs> Go ahead. <clears throat> what I will say about this picture, I approve of the hair. Even curly <laughs> crazy right here. There's no bun. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> well, the joke is that what the, the meaning behind that for folks that don't get it or uh, audio only, she's got a pick of, uh, of uh, five... Uh, two-handed bowlers who don't have to worry about their thumbs so and they all made a fucking show the top five and then uh, there's a picture of them and then somebody uh memed it with not a single thumb was hurt during the making of this show i'm sorry my brain goes to other things oh do you mean with the two hands inappropriate two hands on, things two, two hands, hands on their balls it's not like all the other bowlers in the world have only one hand but it's because these guys bowl with two hands. 
they do yeah. the yeah uh, they, yeah they, or the yeah. the torque the torque they gotta yeah. turn get that torque <clears throat> and then throw the ball <laughs> that's how it works <laughs> so every bowler unless it's like the special needs <coughs> bowling league every bowler has two hands as far as we know right uh not do every you know but one-handed I will, bowlers? most what do you mean you mean people that only have one arm yeah yeah like what yeah, yeah. i'm do, sure there are people out there that only have bowl? one arm. i'm sure, I'm sure there's out there i'm sure i saw i mean one we can't forgot. discriminate you know you can bowl if you only have one hand that's all you need you know, like, like like I said, I'm sure I saw one through the years, but I just forgot because mm-hmm. there wasn't much to remember. Oh! <laughs> See, you got to take it there. You got to take it there. Up there. And be <laughs> prejudiced. <laughs> but yeah. No, no, so, yeah. no. no we had fucking, bad. I set things up for people to uh, bowl in their wheelchair. Nice. It was the weird, it was the longest approach. Wheel, wheel, but, wheel, wheel the ball in their fucking lap and then thump. <laughs> no, that's some of them maybe. Yeah, but anyway. You're a humanitarian, a Wayne. A humanitarian. Bit, a little bit. So, yeah. So, listen. I'm listening. I'm this listening. Hair, I'm I Fraser approve. Crane. I KC, approve of this hair. KCL. KC, KACL. K, or is it KC? Yeah, KACL, right? It was KACL. This hair, look. Look okay. at this hair. Look at this well, that's hair. Kevin. Right See that? That's Kevin. 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 Uh, Kevin. Uh, I can't say his last name. That is the douchiest hair I've ever seen. We need to talk, Kevin, because I have a feeling this might be a little bit of a, you know. You're young. You can shave your head. Oh, you think he's uh, he's he's trying to cover up uh, yeah. uh, heading yeah. towards the the guy all the way to the left who's obviously going bald? Do you think two-handed well, bowlers have? Do you think a two-handed bowler has time to curl his hair? Tell me, because the rest of it is not curly; it's just the front. Where is he getting yeah, that curly he, he's hair? He's a from? goofball. He's a goofball who also does music. He he thinks he's going to be a fucking uh, uh, music star too. What? You never know. And he, you know, he's also a lefty. Complete douchebag. Oh, my brother's left-handed. Watch what you're saying. I'm but joking. he doesn't bowl. The 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 the, the <laughs> guy to his right. Uh, you, uh, you you're gonna laugh. Hold on. Oh, to I his shouldn't right. have said that. Okay, that guy. Okay, I go ahead. Have said that. Uh oh. Such a bad setup. All right. Don't the tallest anything. one there. The dude okay. with the, in the green. The one who thinks it's fucking St. Patrick's Day. Well, his name uh-huh. is actually uh, Patrick. Yes. Is uh, it? Oh, so Hanrahan. Well, no, uh, no, no, uh, but uh, well, no. Actually, his name is MRT. no, no, no. It's not actually Patrick. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, I'm not it's, smart. Uh-huh. It's, <laughs> no, but I was fooled thinking. Oh, yeah, that is. But and this is no. His real name, I think it is. It's actually Packy. A guy Packy? named Packy likes to throw his balls around. Packy. Packy oh, Hanrahan. Yeah. That's his name. I don't he's like a, it. And he's a lefty, and of course, two hander. Mm-hmm. But I like <gasps> the guy all the way to the right, though Jesper uh, in the storm shirt in the blue shirt. Okay, uh, that's that's Jesper Svensson. He's actually I I I give him a pass because he's he's a cool motherfucker. It's like a Jesper. He actually also has a sleeve tattoo. Oh, exciting! And another lefty. I think they're actually all lefties except for Jason Belmonte. And that's the reason that I have the picture is because Brandon sent this to me because I've mm-hmm. uh, a video popped up in my recommends of Jason Belmonte throwing the ball with one hand. So I sent it to Brandon and a couple other bowling buddies of mine. Shad, shout out to Shad. Shout out to Shad. Ooh, it sounds like it should be a song from the 80s. Shout out to Shad. Shout out to Shad. Uh, ooh, yeah, gross. I, it's a one-hit wonder. Anyway... Uh, I sent them the video going, yeah, why don't you do this all the time, you fucking cheater? <laughs> so, of course, they all laughed at it, and then Brandon laughed and all, and then sent this back. <laughs> I love it. Not a oh, single funny. thumb was hurt during the making of this show. 
So but when they could they... have made it better though, where they could have brought that down and cropped it because there's so much fucking space up there. Yeah, they wanted to put the little crazy face on it, there. I think it's a nod to the other guy, the two guy, Kevin and the other guy going bald. Yeah. So when they bowl with two hands, they don't use any of the holes on the bowling ball. Just the fingers, the two fingers, the ring and middle finger. The... And oh, they, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Oh, they. You have to have those in there to when you yeah, release right. it. That's, how you have it. that's what gives you the rotation, the, the finger. It's all about the finger. It's all about the fingers, baby. You gotta, you gotta finger, you gotta finger your balls good if you want to be able to throw it, good, throw it up good. And so when basically... I say throw it up, you know, you gotta what? <laughs> no, go ahead, finish your. I'm sorry, I mm -mm. messed you up. Mm -mm. I said so. Ba I was gonna say so. Basically, they're opposed to using their thumbs. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. They want to go back to being uh, uh, super primates. I don't know, whatever that means. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, before yeah. we had opposable thumbs. They want to go back before yeah. evolution is what I meant. Well, you yeah. know, maybe they're saving their thumbs for something better. Well, they do. You still use their thumb. They, they just, it's, it helps them grip the ball better. But in a different right. way. Because so otherwise, the ball, okay. your thumb is inside. Instead of sticking it in, they're sticking their thumb in. They like to keep it and rub it around the outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, it's called foreplay. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then, of course, they shoot it into the oil mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, down to those, you know, those phallic looking things and, you know, just blow right through them. Are these the Not only two-handed? pulling it out of my ass. What? Are those the only two-handed bowlers in the entire? That... Sorry, sorry. In the entire league? Is Are there just what? five of them? Just five of them? Are there oh, just no, five no, no, two-handed no, bowlers? No, no, there's a bunch more. But the, but that show those four no, yeah, there's a guy named Chris Vi, uh, who's a right hander. He's actually one of the two people that have thrown three hundred twice on TV. Him mm. and him and Francois Lavoie. All right. Well, if I was marketing for these guys, first of all, they need new T-shirts. <laughs> hey, they need matching shirts because. What did you do that for? There's no, there's no unity here. There's, you know, we need a theme. We need something going on here. That's all right, though. They'll get it together. I, I really liked it. You know, like that, the, uh, the, uh, the Minute Bowl shirt that I wore on one of the, I can't remember which number it was, but, you know, that old bowling mm -hmm. shirt, it's a, it's a big one. You know, it's like the uh, old big part. In the early 2000s, they went to that where uh, the uh, PBA went to that where guys were uh, wearing those kind of shirts. Mm -hmm. So they became popular again. That's one of the reasons why Manute Ball, why we did that. So if you go back in the shows and like in the early two, early to mid 2000s and look at the their shirts are they're different than what that is. Okay. Um, they really they went they kind of did a little retro thing. Which mm -hmm. I loved, you know, they, these bigger, especially when Norm Duke, when he'd wear them, because he was such a little guy, <laughs> and then his shirts, it looked like he was fucking swimming in them. Um, but then, you know, uh, Norm Duke. Duke. Anyway, what? Where's when? Because. Oh, look what you brought up for me. Look what you got for me, baby. I need a refill. That's okay. Go ahead. Is this Mary Poppins? This is Mary Poppins Returns. That's okay. uh, em I've never Ms. seen Blunt. Movie. Emily Blunt. Yeah. And uh, she's married to John Krasinski. Yes, she is. In the they, office. And they did uh, the what is it? Quiet, not Quiet Place. Is that what it was? No. The horror, the horror movie. Yeah. Where everybody had to be silent. Right. It is the Quiet Place. Maybe. I don't is know. that what it is? Hello, well, anybody listening? Do we still have people there? Unfortunately, we don't, you know, I wish we had the internet or something. We could look it up. I know, but then I got to go time. No, I'm doing it. I'm oh, doing it. Man. No, dude, I'm doing it. Well, I, I was joking. I got my phone. Uh, I know. God, you get. <laughs> what? You take me too seriously. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not taking you People, seriously. See, now you're taking me too seriously, taking me too seriously. So now this is like. Like Am I squared. You too seriously? You're taking me too seriously squared. So like <laughs> in the beginning, you were taking me too seriously. And then no, when I no. told you you're taking me too seriously, then you took me too seriously telling you you're taking me too seriously. Don't don't triple it now. That's good. All right. Did you find it? That was really good. <laughs>
Well, you know Translation, what? Translation, Wayne's just being too sweet is really what you're saying. Um, I think Pinot Grigio has some... Yes, like, A Quiet Place. I had it right. Brain stuff. It is A Quiet Place. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's a mix of the Pinot Grigio and No Sleep. I think that is the magic combination. Oh, so yeah. from now on, I'm not going to sleep Monday nights and Thursday nights. So that by Tuesday night and Friday night, it's gold, baby, gold. All right. But I am going to go take a break. Because... <laughs> it's gold, baby, gold. All right. While I take a break, because I'm going to go refill yeah, and on. empty my bladder. Awesome. We're going to go from this beauty oh, no, to wait. that. <laughs> no, no. Go back to mama. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Go back to Emily so I can explain. I'm trying. Okay. Go that was funny, though. Go Sorry. Ahead. All right. So oh, I'll yes. Be... Thank you for uh, punching in. Going to mute. Oh, and no. ready? Yeah. Oh, what she got? Hold on. Robert Smith. Robert Smith. That's Mecca Streisand right in front of <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's your Robert Smith. That's her Robert Smith. But see, I have, uh, I have my own, uh, uh, Robert Smith. I just don't know where the fuck it is. Oh, it's under welcome. Right? It's under welcome. There it is. Yeah. See, that's her Robert Smith. This is my Robert Smith. Her up. Way left. Huge loft. Pounds. Drops none. And it's it's dead. Dead. Welcome back, Bobby. Welcome back. <laughs> and you can see I'm not lying because his fucking name's on his fucking shirt. Um, what was that? What's that? And look at look at where he's standing. Look how he's bowling because he puts so much fucking torque on the ball, and of course, so that means and the lanes are really wrecked with no oil. So he's got to fight all he can to get the ball down the lane before it starts to hook, and of course he's lofting it because the ball can't hook in the air. So that's why he's heaving it in the air so much. So otherwise, if he didn't, it would hook before it got to the fucking pins. Turn way left. Huge loft. Pounds. Drops none. It's 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 dead. Welcome back, Bobby. Welcome back. <laughs> Turn. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right. That he says that because uh, uh, for anybody new, he had been injured and hadn't been on the show. He hadn't made a show in like two years because he, he was out for a year because of his hip. And something in his wrist as well, and I think it was. Anyway, so he missed a lot of times. So that was his first show in like a year and a half or two years or two and a half years or something. I don't know. So that's why he said, welcome back, Bobby. Welcome back. Welcome back, weenies. Welcome back. Anyway, here's Emily Blunt as uh, Mary Poppins in Mary Poppins Returns. And uh, how funny. Why would you do that? Why would you have uh, a character who supposedly can fly with an umbrella, an umbrella that looks especially, you know, in a silhouette, looks like a mushroom, and then why would you go and have a shot while she's talking to the kids in their bedroom with a mushroom with little people over it and a mushroom, a red and white mushroom. And then why is she wearing a red and white tie and a blue jacket, the blue honey? Paul Stamets went over this, a lot of this in uh, the new Rogan, not the new Rogan, but the... Uh, his new Rogan, because he just came on, he was on for the second time, Mr. Stamets, talking all kinds of shit about mushrooms. Anyway, why would you have that shot? What's that about? What's that about? And then after this little discussion, uh, that's what I like to call it, it's a discussion. Or is it a, is it a, uh, a, a tent? No. She's kind of wenchy, but what is she kind of bitchy about it, but also nice. And then they go into the bathroom, and they all jump into the tub and have a psychedelic trip. Where the tub, there's no bottom to the tub. It just goes, and then they're in the water, and they're talking, and, blah, 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 and it's all psychedelic.
But the umbrella, there's no way the umbrella represents psychedelics or mushrooms, right? Why would you be able to fly? Oh, and then, of course, then you've got the the, the other tie with it is, there's the Bible tie where uh, who Jesus was uh, a mushroom and also was a person who flipped over a table because of the bankers were ripping people off with fraction, original fractional reserve banking. Uh, so banking, huh? Right? And Jesus said, uh, uh, is, a, is a mushroom and uh, banking was bad. Well, this bitch uh, can fly because of mushrooms slash umbrella, and she comes in to save the children of the banks. Can you beatbox? I got a rap. I bet it, I, I could. I, I could if I would. I would if I could. I mean, I and could. And I'm back, y'all. And I'm back. And I'm biggity, biggity, biggity back, y'all. I'm the best rapper in the I'm the best rapper in my vicinity. Who that be? Ain't nobody better. Who that be? Me. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> the best you were... rapper in my general area. I thought you were referring to somebody that I didn't know. But, so, I took that from a, a movie that you still have to watch, so I know you haven't seen it, and then you can't talk to me about not seeing the other movies, Outlaw Josie Wales. Fear of a Black Hat. You have to see that. What? I don't even remember having that being put on some kind of list. Why am I getting shit for something I never heard of before? No. Juan talked to you about it, and then I talked to you about it. Fear of a Black Hat. It's the rap version of This is Spinal Tap. Remember? Oh, now oh, I do. You must have been messed up at that moment. Was it? Was this a post-show meeting, or was this during a whip? Mm, I can't remember. Ah, you can't remember. I either. don't. <laughs> I don't a member. Uh, but what is this? fear of the black cat. Fear of. Fear black of the black. Cat. What? Fear what? of a black hat. Sombrero. Wow. The hat. Why am I getting such such Brillo pad uh, <laughs> feeling, man? What the hell did I do? Fear of a black of hat. Of a black hat. Hilarious. It's so good. Oh my and god. That's, my there's my a handwriting is so neat. They don't say back. You know what? My handwriting is really neat. It's another thing is it? I followed my dad with. Hold on. Let me look at your notes. Well, not not that shit when I just scribble on that shit. If I, mean, I is, was your teacher. Go it's ahead. not bad. It's not bad. Oh, you can. Yeah. It's not bad. It's let me good. see, let me see, let me see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Look, I wrote it down. You yeah. write it in all cap. You write in all capitals like Juan does. Juan does the same thing when he Jeez. prints. I got that That's from my dad. That's funny. <clears throat> I just you like it. You guys do the same thing. The oh same team. Just. And that's kind of how, uh, when you see like lyrics to a song are written out. It's usually how it seems to be written by most. Yeah. Um, anyway, I don't know if you are uh, in a world where wars are fought with marshmallows. <laughs> Too many carbs. <laughs> oh, so why did you send me is that this a reference? Picture? Hey, Beckham, is that a reference to Ghostbusters? Oh, Ghostbusters. Oh. Oh. Why did you send <sighs> Why'd you send me this picture so I could see how you look with short hair? It just it popped up on my phone for some reason. It's, you know, the pictures pop up. I have this thing that pop where like uh, for some reason. Pop 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 pop. Yeah, it just they just throw <laughs> things at me. Usually, it's like this on this day four years ago, five years ago, whatever. Oh, okay, okay. And you're anyway, wearing a last and I was like, and I hadn't seen that fucking picture in I don't know how long years so i didn't even know it i forgot it existed so i just went oh susie might like to see this cool you have from a the, girl drummer i just noticed whiskey. that oh yes look that's at Catherine. that Catherine. that's I miss Catherine. how to play the drums that's miss Catherine. she's no longer with us with the band or like on earth on earth i'm kidding i know yeah that's terrible but uh she was I blame a it on this. Mm -hmm. she's a fucking sweet no you're fine yeah i know I, She's a sweetheart, and uh, and before this, all she knew how to do, when she the more the, the biggest show she'd done, done music wise was play the triangle at church. <laughs> so she was all excited and stuff. Oh. Her daughter would go went to Dave, like mine, 
in uh, Dave's uh, school. Dave's school. Dave's school. Dave's school. We have a Dave here it's at Universal Studios. It, it, Is it Dave, at Universal? Uh, no, this, in California. No. No, but it's not at Universal. No, it's a, it's a. He's a music teacher at a school, and also he. Oh does, no, there's a school called Dave kind of, School here. Oh, is it? Is it a Cheech and Chong reference? Or is, no, is it's actually really a school. It's for uh, um, graphics and animation, and oh, it's no. on oh, the this is a school back rock. lot of Universal Studios. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. No, but this is Dave's. Dave's school is. Uh, uh, for music. It's, like, it's like a school of rock, yeah. He's basically like Jack nice. Black. Nice. I want to do that. I want to learn how to play drums. And that's at the whiskey, you know, and I played because Riley, you know, went to him and uh, uh, drums and stuff. And then when you do that, and then you can go to uh, uh, twice a year, they would have, you know, in the mm -hmm. summer and the winter, they'd have, they'd put together have shows. Oh, like the <clears> movie. Yeah. That's and cool. uh, so there'd be, there'd always be that's like cool. five or six bands. You know, mm -hmm. from the, and they'd start with the little kids, you know, and and you know, the Aww. levels and stuff. <laughs> and then Dave would also so have Dave would also always have uh, an old folks his his own band, the old old folks band. Is that the one you were in? Yeah. So he asked me, you know, he's like, <laughs> you want to be in? You know, I know you play bass. <laughs> you want to be in my? You want to be in the old folks band? I'm like, Aww. sure. So uh, anyway, That's funny. Yeah, and Catherine and I had a ball, and Catherine, you know. Uh, you know, sweetheart, absolute angel, Aww. and and uh, but when d after uh, we rehearse, you know, and mm -hmm. she was a church lady too, but she was so she was you know very proper, very you know uh -huh. didn't do anything wrong. But when uh, me and uh, the guys, except for Dave, would go outside afterwards and we're outside either smoking a joint, having a drink, and having cigarettes, she'd come out, come running out real quick and go. Sh can I just have a couple of drags? Oh. <laughs> Take a couple of drags and run back in the house. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. How she was old so, was she? So, she was so adorable. Uh, I think she was about five, six years old. Five, six did. years older than us. Yeah, she doesn't look that old. Mm -mm. Oh. No, uh, I think it was breast cancer and then it came back. Rip, Catherine. Yes, and what a sweetheart! And you watch those videos, watch those, and watch the smile on her face as she's playing. She's like, "Oh my God, I'm playing drums at the whiskey." That's meanwhile, awesome. Meanwhile, I'm going, "Oh my God, I'm playing bass at the whiskey." I was gonna say you're playing the bass. Okay, that's mm. what Juan plays. Yes, Juan plays the bass. Actually, Sarah plays the bass and guitar, and nice. the ukulele. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I yeah, she love loves the shit. ukulele. That's the that's my favorite mm -hmm. part, and then every time she plays, <laughs> one yeah, of anyway, the I just yeah. threw that at you. I didn't throw that at yeah. you for this. I I know no, you just no. did this as a joke, but oh, and I'm watching in my my t shirt. It's the last hand t shirt. You know? I just yeah, I said that yeah. You're wearing a last hand t shirt. Um, one of the shows that she did for Orlando Fringe, which is a festival, an arts festival that they have here at. In Orlando, um, the the old man and the old moon, which they did for school, but they picked they were picked <clears throat> they were picked by the Fringe Festival to do that show at the Fringe Festival, and they won like they won the top like the pick of the you know what would they call it? I forget what it's called, but anyway, they won like the top honors for that show. And uh, she was the narrator for the show, but she was also, she played the guitar during the show and she also played the bass. But when she, <laughs> it's the standing bass is what she had to play. Sarah's no. only four, she's only four foot 11. So like the bass is like towering over her head and it's like three times her size, you know, and it's so cute watching her pick it up and carry it out to the stage, you know, and, but yeah, so that was cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I was tripping out because Riley played before I did. Because <clears throat> uh, she was in, you know, was it the second or third band? And she uh, sang. She played drums on one song and sang uh, along with everybody else on uh, uh -huh. the other their other songs. And uh, what the hell? Something on the Sun. What the hell? That, what's that? Who's the, Weezer? 
Weezer song, uh, something something on the sun, or um, whatever. I can't remember that tune. That's what she played drums to. Weezer, okay. Um, and standing there, you know, in the crowd next to my dad, going, "Dude, that's your grandkid up there playing drums on that fucking stage." John Densmore used to sit back there. Everybody, you know, it's the whiskey. Wait. Don't what you got uh, there? click on that. Don't click it. Wait, wait, wait. Don't click okay. it because I got. Don't, don't stick it in there yet. This is all. No, not all right, yet. Hold, all right, on. sweetheart. I'll, I'll I'll wait before I stick it in. Yeah, please, 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 right, please, please. No problem. So instead, I'll instead I'll. Like I said, oh, you want to see that from the other angle? <gasps> okay, all right, all right, all right. To Tommy Jones' reign on television. I don't know why the sink's all off right. on that. I hate that the sink is off. I need a little bit of his intensity. Hmm? Maybe, like, I need a little bit of his intensity. Beats? You know? Yeah. You, you need some of it? I do. I think you have some tonight. I'm noticing, I'm, I'm noticing a spark. Pinot I'm noticing, Grigio. Yeah, I'm noticing, Pinot Grigio is the answer. There's a lot of fire in you. You know yeah. what? It's fine. I'm not making fun, sweetheart. I love it. Check it out. I'm just kind of going, whoa. Yo. I just, I just have to adjust. Listen. Because I'm usually Wayne. the one doing all the bong, bong, bonging. What? Wayne Cornelius Roberts III. Listen to me. <laughs> That's his real name, everybody. <laughs> They named him Cornelius. All right. So listen, mister. <laughs> mister. <laughs> Damn, girl, you are murdering. Woo! It's the, it's the lack of sleep. Cornelius. <laughs> I think it's the no, it's the little, 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 oh, little you almost, bit. You almost made me pee. A little bit. Cause, Li cause I'm gonna have you to haven't peed quick. yet. You should have peed by now. I know. Hey, how about that? I I I I, I won the contest tonight. I know. So listen, I think okay, what? part of it is no sleep. I get it. You said so. I believe you. I I left my You're house. You're a nurse. At five, You're a nurse. I know. I know you know how to diagnose shit. I left my house. No, I'm not diagnosing. Nurses don't diagnose. What? Only doctors, doctors and oh, nurse oh, practitioners oh, you can diagnose. Me. Yeah, I know. Diagnosing is beyond my scope of practice. I can I, bring it up on the website if you'd like. So you can. Okay. I, I didn't sleep. I did sleep. Actually, I did sleep. I slept, but it was a little bit, a little bit. Just not much. Because I got up at five. I left my house at five thirty. So it's a combination of that and Pinot Grigio. But, you know, my first class, my first class was 80% Pinot Grigio and 20% plum wine. And plum wine has a higher alcohol, but everybody write this down. Plum wine has a higher percentage of alcohol by volume than Pinot Grigio. I love it. The Japanese, they know how to do it. They know how to make wine. So this is probably why. Right. I get really talky, you know. It's fine. That's, that's luckily, yeah. But still it's better than not being talky when you're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck do you think I do? I Excuse actually me. don't even need it. Oh, no. Oh, there goes an eight ball. No. I to <laughs> wipe my nose. So anyway, let's talk about selfies, everybody. So you know I did that thing about I really do hate taking a selfie. Because oh, you it mean never your little, oh the video that you put up on Thursday. It never works. So I take it, oh, you I know, hate it you, too. Well, look, you look yeah, at I you see it. yourself, right? You see yourself and you're like, okay, that looks okay. Let me take a selfie. And then when you look at it, it looks like you had a stroke. How does that happen? I like I this. Know. Like, I wait, exactly I was just smiling. About. What happened there? I know. I, I Yeah. And, and of course, not only that for me, but at least you have a good phone, dude. At least you, when you do it, it's clear and it's, you know, you know, it looks like it's supposed to look for the most part. Mine, man, the only way, 
The only time that mine doesn't have just a little bit of ick to it because of a mm-hmm. jiggle, because I just don't, it's just, you know, this fucking shit it's, Android. It's our generation. Look it's, at my kid. Uh, it's when you have the flash. It's flash. I don't know what it is. Larry, flash, Ellen. But you can't have the flash no, when you're doing a do selfie. A yeah, I don't do a flash. Because when you flip it and you do it that way, you, you won't, you don't, I know you don't uh-huh. need it. You don't need it because you have an yeah, iPhone. Yeah. I have yeah. this piece of shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's like, I'm trying, you know, I try to like, like copy my Sarah. <laughs> I, I don't you know, you. and I don't even think she has to prepare. Like she just takes the picture and she looks great. You know, I think it's because she's Whoa. 17. Whoa. Know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you for covering those boobs. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, and then, you know, I try to emulate it. Well, and they then practice I, a lot. You know, you know I look I mean? like this. I look like this. I look like I'm a teen. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but that's a. It, it looks like a lion's mane. You are a Leo, Mama. I am a Leo. That's right. But that's if the my other selfies, lion besides the besides the mushroom. Looked oh as good God. as these sexy oh, legs. Oh no, I definitely have to go pee. <laughs> oh, he has runner's legs. He doesn't run. There uh, what he is. the hell is that thing in his pocket? I never. That, he has a sir. square penis. Is an iPhone 13 Plus. No wonder you get annoyed with him. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, no, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Where'd he go? He left? Oh, he left. Okay. So, everybody, this is my backyard. That is not Pinot Grigio. That is... Sauvignon. No, it wasn't Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, my God. I forgot what that was. Anyway, it's another white wine. Who cares? They're all the same. That's Max. Look at my puppy Max. He's a big old dog. Look, he's humongous. He's half Border Collie, half Newfoundland. I have a friend who calls him Baby Horse. He really is a baby horse because he's about the size of a pony. He fluctuates between 85 and 90 pounds. So, And he's an old man. He's my favorite old man, the only old man that I... Enjoy spending time with. I'm sorry, honey, but you're not old. It's okay. Um, he is 12. Wait, what are we in? 2024? <gasps> yeah, he's 12. He'll be 13 in November. I hate the best of dog ever. Does everybody talk to their dogs like that? Because I sound like an idiot when I talk to my dog. <laughs> and he looks at me like I'm crazy. And I think uh, uh, he knows something. But that's my baby horse, Max. He's the cutest dog. He's the bestest dog. He's my puppy. Oh, my God, Max. Um, Wayne. Delete that. But anyway. So, yeah. I'm terrible at taking selfies. Um, and I need pointers. I'm, I, I want to talk to my daughter. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. She's going to be like, what are you asking me for? She's a teenager. She's 17 years old. She's going to think it's cringy. Why do you want to take selfies, mom? Well, because every time I post something like on Facebook or Facebook, who knows what Facebook is? When I post something on Facebook or Instagram, um, you know, it's usually me pick like this, like taking or you guys aren't seeing it anymore, but it's usually me take, taking pictures of my dog, taking pictures of my, um, you know, of Juan, of Sarah, you know, it's never, I'm never, I'm usually not in it unless somebody takes a picture of me and then adds it on there. Because again, I'm horrible at taking selfies and every time you take a selfie every time i take a selfie i got one eye closed and i'm like oh my gosh hold on let me check let me smile is it symmetrical okay i haven't had a stroke because i always think i've had a stroke is is it's horrible um you know i'm used to all right now i'm gonna really well you guys know how old i am i graduated in 1987 um so you know, when I was a teenager, when I was my daughter's age, we had, you know, cameras. That's how we took pictures. And then you had to wait until all the pictures, until you took all the pictures to then put it, you know, send it to, you know, take it to Walgreens or 
Back then, Eckerd Drugs. I'm really aging myself. Who remembers Eckerd Drugs? That's the old CVS. Um, you take it there, you get it, you know, processed or what What do they call that? Developed. Okay. You get your pictures developed and then you go back and pick them up. It's probably like a week after you finally, you know, finished with all the pictures in the roll. And, uh, and I remember I would pick them up and I'd be like, I'm going to drive to my friend's house. I'm not going to look at them. Let me just hold on to them. And then, you know, we'll take them. Uh, you know, we'll take them out and we'll look at them, you know, when I get to her house, you know, and then you don't know how they turned out until you get there and you take, you know, you look at the pictures, um, you know, and for the most part, Juan, I'm talking! For the most part, no respect. I get no respect, everybody. I get no, no respect. No, keep So going, for the go. most part, for the most part, you know, you don't know which pictures turned out crappy until you look out at all of them. And what's the worst picture when you're a teenager? The worst picture is when you take a picture and your eyes are closed. You're like, oh, I closed my eyes on that one. Or you get the red eyes. Remember those? The red eyes in the oh, pictures? Yeah. Those are the worst. So those are the ones you got to get rid of. But other than that, for the most part. So it's, you know, part of it is being 17 and no picture that you take is going to be a bad picture. They're all... You know, they're all good pictures. Well, they also, I'm sure she deleted 75. Who knows? Yeah, because they I just guess. sit there and they just, they just, they just take like did. 100 pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine, imagine when you, you know, in, in 80 fucking 84 that you had that. And what would you be doing in your room besides, uh, you know, listening to Pink Floyd album, smoking weed? You'd be taking pictures of yourself no. over and over. No. Oh, that was me. Sorry. No, no, no. I was probably doing my nails and... Oh, I was doing that too. Mm-hmm. I see it. I was probably doing... I don't know what I was doing. 17. Listening. I was listening. 17? I was either listening to... Cindy Lauper. Who else did I listen to at that time? Menu. No, not, no more Menu, though. That was 14, 15. Blech. I waited until I was like 22 before I fell into those guys. Oh, man. <laughs> you prevert. Um, who else? Poison, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Tom Kiefer, one of the coolest voices of rock and roll. Uh, when did... Uh, um, oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot the name of the album. Po um Guns N' Roses. Um, Appetite was 87. Appetite. The year you graduated. 87. Okay. So I was probably listening to that. Not probably. I was listening to that. Well, you probably weren't. Li well, most people weren't listening to it until 88 when it blew up. It blew up in 80. It came out in 87, but it blew up in 88. Uh, okay. So after, I was 18. Uh, the mm -hmm. Sweet of Child of Mine video. Yeah. But I know everywhere we drove, we, them and Beastie Boys. I had a Mazda RX-7 with a sunroof, all the windows down, sunroof off, blasting Beastie Boys or um, uh, Guns N' Roses. Or, since I was in Miami, or two live crew. Oh, yeah, Luke Skywalker. Dirty, dirty music. Uncle Luke, you know, he ran for mayor of Homestead. Yeah. Yeah fucking guy yeah uh, me so horny that was actually a clip yeah, from fun. uh full metal jacket i believe mm -hmm. that yep. was a lifted from that movie yep. Yep, yep, yep uh fuck what was i gonna say before when you were talking about oh you said you had a mazda except i had a Datsun b210 my uncle had a Datsun 280zx i used to drive that one too i'd steal it from him sometimes i loved that car steal it well I mean, breaking I'd ask him law, for it. Breaking the law. Now we're talking about Judas I'd Priest. ask him. Yeah, I'd ask him to let me drive it. But yeah, <clears throat> that was a cool car. But yeah, I had my Mazda RX-7. I loved that car. That was a cool car. I got in trouble in this house uh, for for driving. Uh, we had a, a 70, I think it was 72 GMC stepside uh, truck mm -hmm. that uh, sat like facing the garage. Uh 
and but away from, uh, uh, but sat back from the garage a bit and it didn't get used used for much mm-hmm. and it was uh it was baby blue and my grandfather had it it, it used to be for uh central main power it was it used to be an old central main power truck so it was orange it used to be orange mm-hmm. but my grandfather had it and he painted it uh like a dark baby blue and he took the uh it was a uh, three on the column shift. You ever you ever driven one of those where the shifter is not on the floor? It's on. No, the my step. dad did. I I, mean, I remember the, that on though. The, on the uh, what is it called? It's uh what the hell on is the it steering called? column. On yeah. the column, yeah. But there's something. There's another way to say it. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, my three dad on had the column one of those. or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but he had he had changed the transmission to put it on the floor. But when he did it, it made it to where normally where first gear is was reverse. Oh, so, yeah, it wow. used to be where three gears reverse was, you know, all the way to the right to the back. Mm-hmm. But it was the other way around. So I was mm-hmm. laughing. I, I can't wait for somebody to try to steal this fucking thing. Yeah, no, they won't be able to. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, my RX, my RX-7 was stick shift. That was the best thing about it because... Yeah, I prefer oh stick. My I prefer a stick. Do you, darling? I got, I got two funny stories about my RX-7. Oh, I got two funny stories about a stick. Listen, oh, you, I'm sure you have more than two. Listen, um, listen, listen, lady. That's the brain with sports. <laughs> my first speeding you, ticket, Fezwell. my first speeding ticket was in my RX-7. Okay, so I had gone to my mom's job for some reason I can't remember why, and I'm on I-95 going back home. All my windows down, my sunroof open, my radio blasting. Taylor Dane. Sound like Dane. you're writing a song here. Yeah. Ooh, Taylor Dane. Tell it to my heart. I was listening to that song. Hot. I had the volume all the way up. And all I saw, just right here, my peripheral vision was the front of a black Mustang. And I'm like, oh, you want to race? Is that what's going on? Oh, this story's going racist. It is. I. That's what I thought. You know, he's, he's threatening you said race. me. He was threatening me. <laughs> And so I'm, I start hauling ass. The next thing I know, he goes, like, he slows down, gets behind me, and turns on his blue lights. Florida Highway Patrol. I was racing a highway patrol. <laughs> oh, that deserves, that deserves yeah. a, double, a double dose. <laughs> And that deserves a triple dose, I think, right? So he pulls me over like 50 feet before my exit. And I'm crying. He comes to the window. He's like, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no. (laughs) That was my first time in driving school traffic school, whatever the heck it's called. Yeah. So now story number two. So wait, what, what, what was the ticket actually for? Did he give you just one ticket oh, for oh, speeding right. or did he also do speeding. some kind of invading? No, no, no. Invading... So he was, he said he was being nice to me. He's like, I clocked, this is at the time, I don't know if it's still the same, but the speed limit on, on I-95 was 55. Oh, and that's right, you're old. He's like... He's like, um, I clocked you going 76. And you said, yeah, I would have hit 90 if you hadn't stopped me, asshole. <laughs> Sorry, He's that like, borrowed I borrowed that from you. Dice. I clocked you going 76, but I'm going to make it. He made it so that, because they have like tiers, you know, like if you're oh, going. I've five, had tiers when cops yeah. pull me over. <laughs> five miles over the speed limit, you don't get a ticket, you get a warning. And then it's like, oh, I don't know if it's yeah. like seven or something where it's a certain level. And then after that, so he gave me level two, whatever that was. Um, and he's like, oh, you could just go to court, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm going to go to traffic school. I mean, I didn't tell him that, but so that was my first speeding ticket. Well, I got other speeding tickets after that. But the second story, I dodged the speeding ticket. So she said dodge. Yeah. Yeah. So, I had a boyfriend. Is that what you were driving? 
No, Mazda RX seven. Oh, it was the same car. Who well, who's listening out there? Hello. Well, why you got why you got a cute, cute, well, No, you said Dodge. You know, I Dodge. dodged the second. Well, I no, dodged. I know a Dodge is a car. Ver, is a version of a car. It's a joke. Sorry, yeah. I'm on. explaining my. Uh, I'll be back. Do you have a water? <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Where'd she go? I was kidding. <laughs> okay, so listen. In a world where Susie was really fucking buzzed. Hold on, I had to take a sip. In a here. world that I fucking love. Listen. Listen! So then, all right, so this was probably shortly after that. I didn't learn my lesson, but I did not get a ticket. So here's the story. So I lived, Viper, I lived, I, I, nobody's going to know Miami, but let's say. Uh, no, don't say that. People will see this in seven years. Yeah. So I lived, I told you, I lived near WIO. Cinco, by the way. Go ahead. Cinco, yes. Oh my God. I lived near WIOD. So right off of that 79th street bridge, you know, North Bay village area, Biscayne Bay. And I had a boyfriend who lived on South beach. And in order to get there, I had to take I-95 to the three, to the Julia Tuttle, which is the, the, the bridge, one of the bridges that goes to South beach. Bridges, cars, and boats. Mm hmm Neil Rogers reference, the Neil Bridge Tender. Go ahead. So Susie was getting out of Dodge. Yeah, I should. Um, so we were talking and I was at home and he's like, how fast do you think you could get here? To me, that was a challenge. Isn't that a question? <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> From where I lived to South Beach was probably a good 30 minute drive, depending on traffic. So I was like, I bet I could get there in like 15 minutes or less, you know? <laughs> I was like, all right. Oh my God. I was dry. I, I could have, honestly, I could have killed myself, but I'm a good driver. So I was doing one of those, like in between traffic, I'd get on I 95, I'm hauling ass. When I got on the Julia Tuttle, and I knew this, like right before you get to the beach, there's like a sandy area off to the side. And that's where the highway patrol and the cops like to hang out. Dude, I must have passed that guy. I don't know how fast I was going, but it was fast. And he saw me. And I know he saw me because when I looked in my rear view mirror, all I saw was a cloud of sand. Like it was like he did one. He like he turned around so fast to come and get me that it just it, he like screwed it himself. In a movie. Up. He screwed himself up, though, because if he wouldn't have done that, you know, he, he could have seen you. where I went. Exactly. I mean, and when I got to my boyfriend's house, I was like, I need to park my car somewhere where it can't be hide seen. It, hide it, hide it. And I wait, I mean, I waited for, so I didn't get a ticket, but yeah, that was scary. <laughs> it was scary. And I can't believe wow. I did that. I could have killed myself. Honestly, Dude, that was, you evaded crazy. the cops, almost did it twice. And it was not just a cop. Damn. It was a highway patrol. All I did was throw a hot dog at him. I know. You I didn't actually, have any hot dogs on me. If he would have tried to catch you me, you were actually doing some Vin Diesel shit. I mm -hmm. was doing some fucking Polly Shore shit. I think what after is with that, my hair that what I don't is know. with that? It's driving it's me crazy. Not enough product, mister. Not enough. Yeah, it's probably true because I don't like putting a lot in there. But yeah. So those are my stories of my RX7. I did I some should, crazy stuff in that, that car. I should put back. I should do my Thor. Speaking of Thor. Oh, put, put a my, high ponytail on. I should do my Thor hair. See, there it goes. See, you see that side. Look how one does one, the other thing, one does. Like what this. the fuck, son? Anyway, doesn't matter. Anyway, so yeah. At least I can. <laughs> no, he has it so much easier, and I really, I, I that's one of the things. Like I said, I, I made a vow where uh, there's going to be a certain amount of shows that we do before I cut my hair. Before you cut it. Yeah. Okay. So 
And then, uh, yeah, and then it's going to be like, uh, speaking of Thor, it's going to be like, oh, Ragnarok. All of a sudden, pfft, Stan Lee's going to come in and go. So you have no gray hair, Wayne? Yes, I do. There's Where? plenty in there. It just doesn't... I don't see. Oh, there's plenty, man. There's plenty. And look at. All right. All right. Okay. Dude, you... Sure, sure. Right there, I see it, but yeah, I don't see. You can tell if it's in the chin, it's in the head. It's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, mm -hmm. there's a new catchphrase. Write that down. It's in the chin, it's if in it's the... in the chin, it's in the head. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but oh, I know what it means. I just told you. Yeah, there's a, a lot of that. There's gray in there. I can't spell right now, so. And I and I have never put any color in my hair since 1999. Wow, what color did you use in 1999? Was it purple? 1999. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. All right, don't, uh, that's too much. You know, don't want to get the copyright. That was like... <laughs> Either way, how could they... I'm not Prince. Stepping on, stepping on my line, mama. I'm not um, Prince. Huh? Don't they just do that if you play the actual artist? Could I? I couldn't. I yeah, can't. Yeah, it's sing just it. a joke. No, it's just. I'm just kidding. No, but if you were to, I think, do the whole song, even if you did like an acapella thing, you would have to do. Yeah, they'd copyright it. Yeah, because Are you of the serious? words, mainly because of the words. Bargain but vestiges. also the melody. Yeah, that's what they does. They suck. They does. They does. They so, does. They does. But if you play something that's public domain, you don't get copyrighted, right? You're not supposed to, but there are people that have. <sighs> where they mistake it and then they fix it later on or whatever. There's been a whole bunch of shit. Dios mío. <clears throat> yeah, I just, me God, I was... Dios um, What was I just going to say, though? What were we, where were we just a second ago? I was going into something. 1999. But right before that. Right before You're asking me? Oh, 19... Oh, was the hair. No, oh, the I, hair, yeah. I put a little frost in it because what happened was in 97... Wait, wait, wait. Like, Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> What? I frosted my hair. <laughs> Fuck's wrong with that? <laughs> now people do it now and it's cool. I did it first, motherfucker. <laughs> what? Frost? <laughs> what? I just did my tips. I just needed. I wanted to do my tips. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Did you get, did they do it with one of those caps where they pull a little bit of hair out of each hole and then they put, did you do it that way? No, it was just the, like, the, like I would do to my ex-wife. Okay. Okay. The, do, just like, kind of like streaks. Okay. Okay. With gotcha. the aluminum foil shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the reason I did it was because. Highlights. Well, mm -hmm. the reason, highlights, that's what it is. That's what I okay. meant. Not frost. Highlights. Okay. Uh, like, sorry. Not like ice, it's not like vanilla fucking, ice. Uh -huh. It's been forever. Um, but the reason I liked ice. it was because what ha what happened was uh, mm -hmm. the only time I'd ever actually really colored my hair fully was 97 with the Ron and Ron show. We all did. Mm -hmm. Fucking Fezzy. Oh, everybody did but Joe Buffett because he's a pussy. Uh, oh, there's one of the pictures. Don't you have the, you have the picture from Hammerheads? Oh, why didn't that one come up? Hold on, yeah, I did. Um, but this is before we did our hair. The ninety that 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 was before. Or was it after? I can't remember. I can't tell. Anyway, all of us on Ron Ron except for Joe Buffett. Mm -hmm. um, even even Parody Guy did it, and Parody Guy most mo actually more looked like what the hell? Oh, because you're doing your thing. Sorry. You're doing your thing, so it interrupted me. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. This one? Is that the one you're talking about? Cause you, yeah. <laughs> Finally, I had, to, I had to play it. He looks it so angry, but he's not angry. He's a nice guy. No, he's Sorry. having a ball. He looks like he's having a ball. And that's why Sarah's back there smiling. Um, he's so serious. Uh... I can't remember if this is before or after. Anyway, but we all Maybe. did that, which uh -huh. looked like, um, why? Because I got my hair frosted? <laughs> you said frosted. It just, it set me off. I don't know what's up. I'm glad. Um, you know who frosts her hair? 
Eloise. Oh, wait. Sorry, I don't have it up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. a sexy bitch. Yeah, really monster. I just hope she does. She, but the other thing with the black and white, I don't know if it's for everybody else, but the thing with black and white movies that make me, mm -hmm. for some reason, when I watch black and white stuff like this, it makes me s feel like they smell like an old book. <laughs> you know, they they weren't that color when they recorded it when they filmed the movie. But yeah, I know they. Did. I, I, I always, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <coughs> shit. <coughs> All right. So, <coughs> but <coughs> God, at damn. that time, here you are. <coughs> I think I can't tell. Can you punch in? I can't tell. I think because Ronnie looks like he's is he had gotten his blonde, but I can't tell with mine. You got it? Can you bring it up a bit? Maybe I do now. Maybe it's. It looks it's, like you maybe shaved your head. There. Okay. No, no. Maybe it had. It is now in the highlight part or whatever sort of. Uh -huh. Basically, what I'm saying is, we it was it was like piss yellow. Uh huh. And uh, and uh, uh, blah blah blah. So when after when it grew out and then you know and then the roots so the roots started coming through. So then it looked like kind of highlights and then it was like oh it actually that's when it started to look okay, and then when it all grew out then I some you know there was a few that. I don't know, one of them, I think, was the lady I was with at the time. Oh, you should now go do highlights. You don't have to do the whole thing. You just do highlights. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I did it a couple of times. That's basically my point being, that's the last, that was the only three times I ever colored my fucking hair. So ever. can you say I've what's never happening put anything. here? Oh, and in this, this is 97. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is 1997, Hammerheads, Key West. I believe I can't remember if this is the first night or the second night. We had live gigs Friday night and Saturday night, and there was all kinds of things that went on uh, during the show. Part of it, you mm -hmm. can see there's a band. Mm -hmm. um, that's parody guy actually all the way right. That I, looks like I'm heading down towards his dick. It actually looks like there's a pecker coming out of there. <laughs> the guy who's laughing. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Yes, that's Fred. That's parody guy. Um, he's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the guitar player and, uh, uh, the leader of the band. And then there's the bass player and then, uh, in to his left and the guy with the beard, that's like going, Whoa, that's Joe Buffett. That's the other producer that mm -hmm. he and I did all the background shit and parody guys. Some of it. Who's this guy? That's Ron Bennington of the Bennington mm -hmm. show on XM Sirius. Uh, back when this was the Ron and Ron show. But with the second Ron, not Ron Diaz, with Ronnie Hayes. Now, uh, during those shows every night was, this is during the spelling P between mm -hmm. me and Joe Buffett, which is funny because, you know, Sarah just did the spelling B uh, play. Mm -hmm. uh, Barfy. Um, That's Barfay. Barf I'm me. sorry. Uh, my apologies. My profuse. There's an accent that grew. My, pro my profuse apologies. <laughs> um, well, uh, there's a whole bunch of things that happened during the during that night during those shows. We had mm -hmm. we had uh, a wet t-shirt contest with a bunch of strippers from Key West. Uh, both nights we had Amanda Payne, who was a mistress, and her slave Tigger, who was a hot little slave, and they did things. Mm -hmm. Nasty things. Uh, the band would play songs. Uh, a bunch of them were parody guys, parody songs that everybody loved. One of them, everybody's favorite. One of the, one of his, one of his number one parody songs was uh, uh, "Gang a Bang Bang." <laughs> it was. Uh, remember the song uh, the from the uh, da 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 Da, 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 you ain't helping 90s. me, bro. Is there words to it? Yeah, but I, I can't remember the words. Oh, damn. But I'm giving you the melody, and I know you'll, I figured you'd get it right away. It was the early 90s. 
I believe, or mid nineties. And I would walk five hundred miles. Okay. So uh, we had uh, a, a couple of months before this. This was August. Of uh, this was the week, our birthday week, dude. August, I love August. Go if ahead. this was if this was Friday or Saturday, our birthday was Wednesday. Because that was the day that the show didn't go on until 6.45 because I was drunk from the night before. And I was the one turning everything on back in, and this was in Hollywood lessons. while they were down in uh, Isla Morada. Isla Morada. Uh, okay. Well, they did, the, they did Monday through Wednesday in Isla Morada and then Thursday and Friday actually in Key West near their hotel. They, they were in a hotel different than where me and Joba Fett and the band and other people stayed. Uh, we were in the dingy part. We were in the deck. We were like, we did the Doug Stanhope thing while they did the Bill Burr thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hang with the real people folk over here. You were on Roosevelt Avenue instead and of plus, Duval you know, Street. Amanda Payne and her slave Tigger were in that hotel. I'm kidding. I, I had nothing to do with them. Um, but also there was, what? um, what, 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 what? There was also, so, oh, so parody guy. Gang of Bang Bang. He he. Well, a few months before we had uh, shit. What was her name at the time? It was 1997. If you want to look it up, not you, but anybody listening, it was 97. I can't remember her name, but there was a porn star who, for the Guinness, I think it was for Guinness Records, or she was doing. She wanted to break the record of the biggest gang bang. I can't remember her name, but we had her on the show because she was appearing. Every Friday there was a porn star on because they would come into town to be at the, not every Friday. We at least either had a porn star or strippers because the porn stars would come to be do shows at the strip club and there was a tie. Mm -hmm. We had a thing with the club for uh, promotional shit. It's one of the things the Ron Ron show was known for. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this fucking porn star, blah, 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 she's in and... Because she's trying to break the record of the gang, the the gangbang thing. Well, Fred goes and makes a parody song, and before she comes into the studio, here I just finished it. This is great, and fucking Fezzy hit play. Gang a bang bang, and I would screw three hundred guys, and she would screw three hundred more just to break the all time record. Blah blah, gang a bang bang. Gang of bang bang blah blah. Anyway, oh wow. So normally, when Fezzy would play something on the air, because he was the one actually behind the board board playing, you know, drops and music. And huh? What do you say? The board board. The that board was, board. That was well, we left had, over two. from. Oh oh, oh 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 oh! But this was a di- this is a different reference to board board because we had two because we had the his board, the studio board, and then in another room we had the, the network board that mm-hmm. was controlled where we played network spots and shit from. He didn't have to worry about that part. Mm-hmm. Um, the board board. Yeah, I'm sorry. Over-explaining. Board board. Ooh, wow. Maybe too much weed? No, not enough. <laughs> um, uh, so Gang of Bang Bang. So normally when he played something, you know, he turned the mics off. Well, halfway through the fucking song, we're all howling in the studio. So he turns the mics on. So over the air, you're hearing everybody in the studio howling at this fucking song playing because it's so funny. Gang a bang bang, gang a bang bang, um, and just and then as soon as it was over, it it fades, you know, whatever it finishes. We're all still laughing, and then it kind of calms down. Then Fezzy goes. One more time, and he hits play again, just immediately, and you hear us laughing more. And then right into this, uh, it, it's one of the greatest moments in radio for me ever, because um, I was in the corner, <laughs> like a little girl in detention, like um, a girly boy. Because uh, originally, it was before the studios were finished, so that was actually in the regular IOD studio, and I was actually answering the phones right basically right behind Bennington mm-hmm. uh, in the same room answering the fucking phones instead of in a separate studio uh, um, anyway so that song was huge so it would get replayed all the time even if the fucking chick you know she you know they would just played it just for fun because it was just so great and it was so he played that that night with the band 
along with some a couple other covers. And then we all did, uh, at the end, the finale, we all did uh, uh, Wild Thing together. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was up there for that, too. I was only up there for two things, which was the spelling P and Wild Thing. But also, to my right in the picture, uh, Ronnie would be facing them. There was another chunk of stage that came out. And over there all night what was going on was the binge bowl, which was every once in a whenever the, the song was over, every once in a while they'd go mm-hmm. over and there were two guys competing in the binge bowl. There was a table and they were sitting on each side of the table and they were told to eat or drink whatever Ronnie told them to eat or drink. Mm-hmm. A lot of it was Key West stuff, you know, food shit. Conk. Oh, there was a there was a lot of conk eating that night, yeah. Yeah, it's conk. That's that's Key West. That's what they do. Yeah, there conk was a lot fritters. Of, there was a lot of shit. Anyway, one of the rules in the and and this Paulo and and Vince Margiera, Vince Margi Bam Margiera's uncle or cousin oh, or whatever, the really? guy that they had to edit off the Mar- the Bam show after he got popped, <laughs> Vince, because he was grew up with. Benny, I don't know, probably, maybe, I don't know, maybe people don't want to talk about that, it's true, it's right there. Anyway, Vincey was, uh, uh, it was him and Paul O, and it was the binge bowl, so they're over there every once in a while being told what to eat and drink. Well, one of the rules in the binge bowl through the years of Ron mm-hmm. and Ron live shows that I had never been part of, this was my only two shows ever, um, but in previous ones in the during binge bowls, if you puked, you lost points. Well, the first night, Friday night, at some point, which I don't even remember that night show. I was so hammered by the time I got to the thing after I drove down. Uh, Friday night, at one point, Paul O barfed all over the fucking crowd. And it was such a hit. And they freaked out over, so funny over it, uh, that... They changed the rules the next night to where if you puke, you got points. And then Vincey was fucked because Vince was like a professional eater and drinker. Like he couldn't puke. And then he, so he started. And they, oh, there was a there was a melee at the end of that night. Oh wow! But so that's what was going on both nights over to the right. Imagine doing the binge bowl Friday night and then having to come back and doing it again Saturday night. Oh my god. No, oh no, God. I can't. I never really thought about not. it that way. I will not. Uh, so, uh, so I'm trying to remember all the things that were going on because we had all because it's you know it's a whole show that bouncing to everything from a song to then Bennington would do you know a couple of minutes of comedy and with him and Hayes they do some Hayes is right there oh you disappeared why did it pop off oh sorry you That's can put okay. it back on. That's I okay. just figured we're talking, man. Yeah, well. that's true. That's true. That's true. I didn't know you could do that. Cool. So they could see our. I didn't faces. know if there was something wrong. I didn't know if there was something wrong because I thought I was the only one that could do that. Um, that's cool. Uh, so then Hayes is behind on the other. You can't really see him, but Hayes is on the other side of Bennington. Uh, but I anyway. see an arm. I see an arm. Yeah, that's about it. So you know, <laughs> like the Ron and Ron show always on the show <clears> on, the, on the air. Five plates spin in at all times, and when one slows down, you go to the fucking you go to the one that's spinning fastest. Mm-hmm. Um, so just always popping in it. So there was a bunch of things. So we had the yeah, porn. Uh, we had the, the 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 wet t-shirt contest towards the end. Amanda Payne and Tigger binge bowl, band parody songs, comedy. Fezzy, Fezzy doing fucking uh, doing uh, 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 Nature Boy. Uh, and, uh, and one of his, and uh, one of his songs, one or two of his song, Fezzy songs. Um, uh, and then there was maybe something else, but anyway, and then there was the spelling P, which mm-hmm. was between me and Joe Buffett, the two producers. Oh, uh, I was Batman. <clears throat> um, because sometimes I would do the notes or whatever. And then sometimes Joe would. And mm-hmm. Fezzy started to notice that, uh, you know, not all of it looked as nice as this. <laughs> Lovely. And Joe's horrible spelling and grammar and just, just had no, like, almost like no grasp of it or whatever. Like, what? And then they, it became a running joke 
that, uh, you know, of Joe's illiteracy, seeming half literacy. So when they were trying to figure out, but that's what they came up with for us to do, uh, was the spelling P. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the, but the thing about the spelling P at the end, or the spelling P was, if you got a word, you you could only get two words wrong. The first person to get three wrong, lost. Mm-hmm. When you got a word wrong, you got hit with a stun gun. And that's why and you're following. that's what this is. I just got a word wrong. And it might have been the first one, and Joe hadn't gotten hit yet. And that's why Joe's way back there going, oh, shit. I know I'm going to be taking that shit next. <laughs> oh, man. Was that and painful? I, and I think he hit me. I think he hit me. I don't remember. if I know I got one. I know I, got, I took one in the shoulder and one in the neck, closer to the neck. Um, but the weird part is it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait. We're a stroke. Look, this is where Wayne tells everybody he's into S and M. Your I'm hand is like spasming. Gun. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, I know. I, I noticed that the, not, the two people that I've seen unconscious for their hands do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a spasm. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm I, I didn't go unconscious. I just don't understand why I look like I'm smiling. And Joe's like, "Oh no, man, I'm next." Um. Anyway, I have so a stun gun. so uh, you do. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, nice. We have to take Zap Juan on the fucking Thank podcast. you, honey. In a he got it to, for me. In, in a nod to the Ron and Ron show, uh, we'll, uh, you can stick it up his bum. What's going on? Why won't it play? It's... it's <laughs> yeah, he got it for me, and it's purple because that's my favorite color. Oh, a wait a minute. Are we talking about the stun gun or your toys? My stun gun. Oh. So anyway, Marie Schrader. <laughs> it's purple. That's my color, man. That's I'm a my Leo. Color, man. Um, so in the spelling P, not only did you get hit with a stun gun if you got a word wrong, uh, but at the end, you had to stand over to basic behind Bennington over uh, there was some steps um, for the stage and right up uh, there was a spot to stand. And there mm-hmm. was a bullseye about four feet above, and it had a balloon in the bullseye. And in that balloon was cat piss, mm. curdled milk, no. cigarette butts, and there was a couple other nasty things. I don't know. That's good. Yeah. That's good enough. Whatever that's, why it was, that's why it was called the spelling P, because of the oh. cat piss. So both nights, no. luckily, uh, I won both nights, even though I, like, again, mm-hmm. I don't even remember the first night. Joe's completely mm-hmm. sober. I was so fucking hammered and I won a spelling bee. And I don't, I, mean, I don't even remember the fucking thing. I remember the second night uh, more. Uh, I mean, a bit. I was still. What was your, what was your winning word? Was it cat? I don't know. I don't remember the words. Okay. I don't remember the words, but no, they weren't that easy. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> it was a dog. So, um, anyway, both nights because of losing, and he was sober both nights. Ugh. He had to stand over there under that bullseye, and then from across the bar over everybody's head, this guy known as uh, he was like the archer. He was basically the. Uh, Marvel uh, Green Hawkeye. Lantern. He's basically oh, Hawkeye. The, oh yeah, Hawkeye or Green Lantern. I think. Green Lantern. Yeah, whatever. Um, of oh, South man. Florida, of South Florida, he was called Rooster, and oh, wow. he shot an arrow across everybody, across the bar, into that fucking balloon bullseye, and splat on fucking Joe's head. And somebody, Ugh. there was one picture that we had. I don't know what happened to it when the show ended and everything and they fucking gutted the, when everybody took everything they wanted. I don't know. I don't know if it was Fezzi that took all those pictures. There was a, there was somebody, there was a big fan of the Ron and Ron show that sent us 
an old photo album thing that they'd taken all these pictures, and one of the pictures was the perfect shot of splat, and as Joe's like this, and oh. boom, splat right on his head. It was oh, fucking man. perfect. He was basically he was like a dog. Nasty. He was like a dog that gets hit by a skunk. He, you know, he had to go back to his hotel and soak himself in tomato juice or whatever the fucking vinegar. I don't know how they do that. Oh. Um, poor bastard. I I Why? don't even, dude. I was I, I literally have no recollection of the first night. <clears throat> I was ready to party after that shitty drive down and through the keys and that fucking thirty five miles an hour for a while. Two lanes and worried about the whole thing getting down there to actually see the guys face to face after Wednesday, not going on the air until six forty five. I thought I was yeah. going to be taking a beating. Yeah, that drive. Ooh. No, it's just two lanes, you know, one each way. And if you get somebody in a convertible in front of you, forget about it's it. It's all those goddamn key deer. You got to go slow because you got to worry about those little tiny deer running around. Yeah. Looking for their yeah. mushrooms. The reindeer looking for their, 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 looking for their little mushy. Um... So yeah, and then uh, so yeah, I won both spelling peas, and is that the rest of the story? Yeah, the stun gun is that enough? Is that the rest of the story? Was there anything else? <laughs> no, I don't remember. Mm, no, I think that's it. I'm trying to. I was just trying to remember if there was anything else that was part of the show besides, yeah, Fezzy. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, a nature boy because Fezzy, you know, remember he used to do the a nature boy bit. Why do radio? Stunts have to be gross. So gross. Oh, you're talking about the binge bowl? Or everything. Both? Oh, the spelling Pete. Yeah, 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 I know. You know? It's gotta have a it had and there was a there was a time when the sophomoric stuff worked. It was, you know, it was like uh, Animal House yeah. on the radio. Mm-hmm. Everybody was trying to be John Belushi. Everybody had to think, have yeah. everybody had to have a Brutus. I don't think show. they still do all that crap. I'm sure they don't. There are some that do. I just they just don't take it as far because stuff mm -hmm. that's happened, you know, it's gotten in, gotten them in trouble. Like, remember that lady that died from the contest with having to drink a bunch of water and she basically drowned. Yep. Yep. Or remember that one where in Cincinnati, that whole thing where they dropped all those turkeys out of a helicopter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember Les Nesman. He was. Uh... Very well-known broadcaster in the area. <laughs> did, did you remember how, like, like with Marie? There's a yeah, like with Marie Schrader having all her purple. You notice every episode he's got a bandage somewhere. Oh really? No, I never noticed yeah. that. He's always got a, some. He's got. He's always got some kind of bandage. It's either a little one on his head, like a bandage on uh -huh. his head, or his hand, or his, he's always come. Oh, which reminds me, which is corny, because. Oh, shit, where it be, where it be, where it be. Where the fuck did it go? Where's the one with Ryan? What the hell, yo? What the hell, yo? What the hell, yo? <laughs> Tommy Jones no, that's not the on one. television. That's not the one. Can he recover from his tough year and win the day? Look out, Brooklyn strike. First we'll watch Crosses Ryan over dance. the head pin. <laughs> Little dance there. Yeah, the river dance. Did they call that a Brooklyn strike? Yep. No, damn it, that's not it. Hey, yo, oh, hey, what's up, Brooklyn strike, yo? What the hell? Where... Oh, here it is. Look, oh, right there. You saw it there? Speak. And then they kissed. What? God damn it. His Band-Aid? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> speaking of Les Nessman. Yeah. Oh, God, I said speaking of again. <gasps> Sorry, my apologies. When did you say That's the first time you my said proof. it tonight. No, Wait, I said it let I me see. Earlier. Hold on. Let me check my notes. 
No, I said it earlier, but my vow is to my 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 try my Your my vow. effort is to not say it ever. Are you becoming a monk? Are you taking these vows? I keep hearing you say take vows, brother Wayne. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you got to shave your head. Well, I say vow, and it used to be just uh, I'm trying. To, I promised myself. That's how I used to say it that way. I promised myself I wouldn't do it, and that never worked. And for some reason, when you put the V into it, when you mm -hmm. go, no, this is a vow. I'm starting to understand the the. Uh, I'm, I'm getting. I, I, see, people think that I'm an atheist or something, and I think I shit on all that stuff. But no, I'm motherfucking tripper. I get it now. It's it, he's it a Hare more Krishna. Clear. Not yet. I believe that's the step after libertarian. You, you got to get the little tiny little pony because they shave all their head. And then they leave a little tiny ponytail in the back. I know it's so fucking crazy. Yeah, you know, it's so it's so. What the fuck? I think you look good in orange. Oh, I think I would too. Thank you very much. Yeah, orange is the new black. And well, you can sort of tell, you know, that's like an orange. You know, it's a dark yeah, orange. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. you know, what's happening? What's happening, sir? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God! You gotta learn how to play the tambourine. Going mm -hmm. back to 1987, uh, to because uh, uh, we were talking about that before and thinking about that, you know, like what am I flipping channels? You know, right after I rubbed one out to that Whitney Houston video, and then all of a sudden I'm watching what we're doing. What the fuck? Yeah. Do you remember um, the when MTV? their first uh their inaugural like when they first came on air were you because i think i was no, I, never, I think i, I was 10, no. 11. no i never it was had, 81. I, yeah no so you, you probably know who, weren't even interested who, in that yet mm -hmm. so you might no, have been not in 81 i wasn't no, no i wasn't I you weren't even 10 the, yet i wasn't quite there yeah i yeah. turned 10 that year but uh um in that building, when you worked in that building, that Mi Miami building was he still was he there at the time? Who? When you worked in that Miami building originally, uh, where Zeta was, mm -hmm. the program director at one point was Neil Mursky. Neil Mursky was part of MTV when it first started. No, no, it was Greg when I started. Oh, like I said, you didn't work there when Neil Mursky worked there. Mm -mm. No, but yeah, I think I was. Uh, it was eighty one, so I was. 11 it was august 1st 1980 right our birthday mm -hmm. huh. and i was so excited because my grandparents had cable and you know there was this all this work up about mtv um coming on you know they're going to play music videos and yeah and my grandparents had cable so i was at my grandparents house waiting for that to come on that was cool where was August I? 1st, Where was I? Where were you the day that the moment that MTV premiered? And they played I had absolutely video no clue because I didn't have the radio MTV. star. Video killed the radio star. Well, yeah. you know they were kind of right, and mm -hmm. early before you know, and this was as videos were just starting, and did, that's yeah. videos. Videos did kind of do that. Then it was so sad when they stopped playing videos. It made people too big, and then most of those people went nuts so because they were too mm -hmm. big. And mm -hmm. imagine being somebody. Imagine, you know, we're on the internet where everybody could see us at any moment. Uh, but actually, imagine when you woke up the next day, like going from uh, like Guns and Roses in '87 mm -hmm. or '88, uh, where yeah. oh, they're just some regular, you know, some other band like fucking Poison. Out well, Poison was a little big at the time. Yeah. But, you know, just some other band, you know, opening for, uh, you know, Aerosmith and all, of, and all of a sudden, boom. Yeah, any time of those videos. Everybody yeah. knows who you are, what the fuck mm -hmm. that does to the head. Mm -hmm. So you would wonder why, you know, all those stars from the 80s, they're all, they're, they weren't that much older than us and they're all gone. George mm -hmm. Michael, Whitney Houston. Uh, did I tell you yeah. that I used to rub one out to that song? Anyway. Uh, short, uh, skinny pink dress. Well, of course, because she was skinny. Because mm -hmm. crack is whack. Yeah. Um. Uh. Who? Uh, that. Most of those people. Uh, Phil Collins can barely walk. Mm -hmm. 
Who else is? I mean, so many of them are not even alive. Is Bonnie Tyler still around? Speaking mm. of the clips. Ooh, I said it again. Yes. <gasps> I believe so. I believe she's she still is. Alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, the lady from um, uh, the duo, the blonde haired, beautiful chick. Uh, they were like from and then the, the dude. And then the dude. No, no. Uh, no. It was a dude um, and a lady. A, a dude lady. and a lady. Hold on, because you've really you know narrowed it down for me. And she just passed a few years ago. Uh, Roxette. Roxette. Oh, Roxette. She's okay. gone. Uh, Is she? Is yeah. she? Is oh she? my god! Yeah, Bonnie Tyler's still alive. Oh yeah, she's she still is kicking. seventy-two years old, everybody. Oh my god, she, oh she my she's god. my ma. That's all right. She's Welsh. Uh, 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 and she has a husky voice, according to Wikipedia. I would assume so. With that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's still husky. It's not husky. Couldn't they find a better word for husky? Let's go to, th to the thesaurus. Th 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 uh, husky's a great dog. Hey, is Kim Carnes still alive? Hold on. I'm going to. Oh, there's to no one. one Kenny time. Rogers. <laughs> tits up. Eddie Rabbit. Rabbit. Eddie Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Rabbit. Tits up. Michael Jackson. Tits up. Uh, who are the other stars from. Uh, uh, oh, Millie Vanilli, both. T oh, that was 90s, wasn't it? Were they really artists, though? Uh, uh, who else? Uh, I mean, you know what I mean. Um, the I'm big just things. From, I'm just talking about the course. big things from the 80s. It's besides besides uh, uh, Tom they Jones' could have, cock. Look, what? They when? could have used throaty. What? Where? Throaty. Whoa. Speaking of cock. Rough. What? When? I said Force. speaking of. Uh, uh, like I got a gag. Rasping. Yeah. Rasping. Rasping. That's a good one. Rasping. Sounds guttural. Like Ooh, guttural. That's good. I like Growling. That one. Growling. Croaking. Kind of like croaking. Croaking. You know, my one of my favorite words is relentless. Go ahead. So yeah, croaking. husky. Come on, husky. Of all the words they could have used for her. Is that a frog reference? Is that a frog reference? Croaking. Could be. Bro, bro. All right. So you know bro. what's one of the questions? The top question people ask on Google about Bonnie Tyler. Who, when, Why where? is Bonnie Tyler's voice so raspy? Polyps. She had a surgery to remove had, had vocal to. cords, nodules. Not yet. Yeah, a lot of it happens a lot. Yeah. I was going to say maybe she was a, you know, the ra old radio ladies would smoke to get their voice raspy because it was i don't know barry manilow it? said that once that he did that once where he he jumped into uh, right before a show he tried to be a little more uh wanted a little more of that and like you know wanted to sound more like the wayness because you can't spell anus without wayness mm -hmm. without us i agree thanks suds uh he said he 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 jumped into a phone booth and uh dropped his pants and stuck cigarettes up his ass for some reason. <laughs> he thought the nicotine I'm kidding. No, he <laughs> He jumped in a fucking he said he jumped I swear I remember that I might be remembering this wrong, but I swear I remember reading in an interview or whatever. And he, he uh uh or it was a police report. He uh <laughs> he uh, <laughs> No oh, I God. think he said he he jumped into an old uh, an old phone booth uh -huh. uh, so he'd be surrounded by and and uh, took grab somebody's cigarettes. It might have been Bette Midler cigarettes. I don't know. Uh, and just you know started sucking on you know, and then cigarettes too, and then uh, trying to smoke uh, 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 croak up his voice. And I went, get the fuck out of here, man! You got to do it like a week. Mm -hmm. That's how I got it. It was a week. A week of Marlboro Reds, and I went, oh, look at this. I'm, I should go get into radio. Hey, what's happening, baby? And then this guy Beckham came along, and he said, hey, hey, Wayness, can uh, you you uh, smell like an anus? Can you uh, can you uh, say this for me? And I would go, in a world where laughter was king. No, that was actually Hal Douglas in the movie, uh, in the trailer for uh, Comedian. Anyway. God. Yeah. That's why I never got it. I got, never got like. Was king. Have you ever seen that trailer? Which one? 
In a world where laughter was king. In the, the comedian trailer. The movie that remember after after Seinfeld was over after a couple of years he did this movie called Comedian, uh, mm-hmm. and it was him going back on the road doing comedy doing stand up and stuff and mm-hmm. then, uh, it's a, a lot of it's about Orny Adams another comic who I think opened for him or stuff. No. Uh, anyway, the trailer for the movie is the best part really. I mean the movie's fun you see a lot of cool shit in there, but. Uh, the trailer is hilarious because the trailer has nothing to do with the movie. It's a take. It's a it's a parody of the movie trailer guy, where it's oh, Hal, okay. Hal Douglas, who a lot of people like uh, Pablo Francisco, who does the movie trailer thing, and mm-hmm. everybody thinks he's doing Don LaFontaine. He's right. to me, he's not doing Don LaFontaine. He's doing Hal Douglas because Don LaFontaine didn't do all that stuff. A lot of times you heard you were hearing Hal Douglas and that's mm-hmm. that whole in a world where the way I do it. I mean, mm-hmm. did, yes, Don did a lot of that stuff too, but Hal did a bunch of them. Um <clears throat> some people you time some people couldn't can't tell didn't know the difference at the time, you know, you didn't really know. Yeah. Unless you had an ear for it. Uh I didn't know at the time either. I'd learn this stuff later on, but Hal Douglas is playing a spoof of himself. Uh, making fun of himself where he's going in to record the trailer for a movie called Comedian. And Tom Papa is actually playing the producer of the... Comedian, Tom Papa's playing the, the producer of the of the uh, trailer. And he's, you know, and there's a couple other guys in the in the, in the the booth, in the control booth, and they're trying to do this thing. But this guy, the, the, the funny part of it is he cannot do the trailer w- without doing the In a World... Da, 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 and all this stuff, right. and, they're, and they're trying to say no, 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 stop it. And at one point, at the, at the end of it, he's like, "You're fired. I'm uh-uh. fired. Get out of the booth, Jack. <laughs> no, I like it in here. Oh, that's you funny. just you have to see the trailer, dude. Write that okay. down. That's the first the thing I do when, when we're done, or anybody right now, uh, uh, look it up. Comedian trailer. I know I've talked about it on the whip before. But that's how he starts it off. Okay, this is uh, a trailer for uh, the movie, uh, the uh, voiceover for the trailer for the movie Comedian. Take one. And he just... In a world where laughter was king. Uh, No in a world, Jack. No? No, no, no in a world. It's, it's, It's about a comedian. Oh. In a land, no, in a land, <laughs> in a time, in a land before time. No, no, no. <laughs> He's just doing all the tropes. It's fucking hilarious, dude. You're okay, fucked. And then there's it. one point where he goes, I hate you. you know, as, <laughs> as Jack can't stop. <laughs> you hear you hear the producer go, I hate you. <laughs> oh, I gotta say that. It's so funny. I saw Pablo <laughs> Francisco at the Miami Improv <clears throat> like a hundred years ago. God damn, you are old. Yeah, that was funny. Wow, you made me think of this. <clears throat> Why is it not playing? What because you got to press play. Johnson, I did press. It's supposed to play when I hit add to the stage. Susie was born. I've never busted your balls before. I feel bad. God, Why? you're old. I don't know. It's you're okay. old. I, I am. Know. I'm kidding. I just don't like that. It's just not my... I'm old. Just, I can't take a selfie. I'm old. It's, it's not my bag, man. It's not so, my bag, dude. The, you're, you're, nah, like, man. This is the requirement for a selfie. Duck lips and a peace sign. No, the fucking duck lips, man. On the, if I'm on any dating thing... No, no. As soon as I see those duck licks... Duck licks. <laughs> Those duck legs, boom, you're gone. Oh, my God. Especially, you know, because I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, ladies that I swipe them through are, are not young. They're, these, and I'm like, wait, what are you doing? 52 years old, you're doing? It's not fucking duck funny. Lips. It's not funny. That is so hack. It's 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 a it's hack. It's like doing airplane jokes. Yeah. Hilarious. It's tired. It's wicked fucking tired. Don't fucking do that anymore. Especially, you know, you know what's really tired? People that do shitty fucking Australian accents. Okay. I knew it was you. I knew it was you, Fredo. You had this something is... about Godfather? 
This is where we pull out the gay point. Why did I do? No, we didn't. We do this before, and we made fun of uh, the dandruff. Why did we have? Yeah, the... but you oh, said, oh. you said something about Godfather on your. Oh, because I wa I do. I I watched it three times last week. Did you? I did. I watched it three more yeah. times. So okay. I'm definitely in the thirties at this point. Hmm. It's so fucking cool. And every time, though, the, the worst, the two, the two worst things, the two things, and it's kind of like uh, in The Godfather for me, it's like uh, the two things, it's perfect uh, besides just a couple things. It's like uh, like Breaking Bad, the whole thing with the fucking, Skylar wouldn't stuff a goddamn pack of cigarettes down the toilet. What the mm -hmm. fuck? I hate that. Uh, in The Godfather, there's two of those, and one, and they're both sunny. One of them, mm -hmm. you clearly see when he's sh beating the shit out of, uh, out of uh, Carlo's fucking Carlo after he had already told him to keep his hands off his sister, mm -hmm. and he's beating the fuck. You clearly see that, you know, like you clearly see that he when he put one of the punches is like this. You know, this is Carlo's face. This is James Conn's hand. It goes. It goes, it, it, you can see it misses by a fucking mile. You can see it's mm -hmm. a fucking stage punch. And it's just so clear. Like, you, yeah. It's too bad they couldn't have gotten that a little better. Or at least cut away from it for a second to get it out so it didn't look... That, and then when Sonny dies. like at, The guy mm -hmm. just took fucking... He's already taken 15 bullets. And then he gets out of the car and stands up. Yeah. While he's taking 15 more. Yeah. I don't think so. And then... It's uh -huh. When he's laying there, and then he's laying there on the corner of the concrete. So he's laying like a cor, like on, on like a, there's a, across a cur laying a, over a curb, and then the fucking guy shoots him more with a machine gun. <laughs> no, you wouldn't mm -hmm. do that because mm -hmm. not into that concrete, especially that's concrete that's bounced back up. You could fuck ricochet right off yeah. and fucking. It, it, that's dumb. Did both, you see both, the anyway? The, uh -huh. Other than that, the movie's fucking perfect. Did you see the producer? It was like the story about the making of The Godfather. <coughs> I did. <coughs> With Puzo and <coughs> Coppola writing together and stuff. And mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah. That was back when I had Netflix. That was Netflix, right? Paramount Plus. Like I said, that was Paramount Plus. Yeah. You were right. Hey, I'll be right back. The wine is kicking in. Oh, this is awesome. Susie peed twice, making water twice. Rock and roll. <laughs> oh, what, what, oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's her Robert Smith. Here's my Robert Smith. Way left. Huge loft. Pounds. Drops none. And it's dead. Welcome back. Welcome back, Bobby. Welcome back. What else did I have up here? What is this here? What's this here? What's she got? Oh, that's right. We played this. Sorry. No. What the fuck am I apologizing for? Oh, because I have banners. That's why. Lots of mushy in there. Lots of mushy everywhere. Lots oh, oh. If it wasn't for the mushroom... Uh, or the mycelium, we wouldn't have trees. <laughs> so a lot of times, you know, people, are, it, it's, it, the main assumption seemingly is uh, the, 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 the quick and the undepth-ish thought of existence, which we need oxygen, right? It comes from the trees and the sun doing their thing, but always it's kind of like mushrooms left out of the the, the conversation with everything. Uh, they're left out of that part because if it wasn't for the mycelium helping the trees survive, then they, so they leave out the depth. The depth, it needs depth. And that's why all those lingering, kind of like that, stories, the stories that last, are all psychedelic stories because they have depth. And you don't really see the depth because you don't, you know, again, why the fuck did I even remove it? E.T. Psychedelic. Willy Wonka. Psychedelic. Christmas Story. Psychedelic Story. Ayahuasca. That's either Ayahuasca or Ibogaine. 
you don't fucking just all of a sudden flip. You don't become, you don't, you know, a person like Scrooge and then all of a sudden overnight, uh, just boop, 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 and then want to give everything away and help everybody on the planet. Unless you go through a trip, a trip and ghost Christmas past, you see the ghost Christmas, <coughs> <coughs> where you're back in these, Read testimonials of people who have done ibogaine, and some of them with ayahuasca. <coughs> they talk about where they've seemingly uh, invisible, but back in a moment from their past, a trauma that they've been holding on to that they've repressed, and but they're seeing it from a new angle, and that's how they're able to heal from it because they're seeing it as an invisible person from another angle to understand it a little bit better and go. Oh, 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 and then let it go. And that's why people feel healed after they go through those trips. Healed. <coughs> healed. <coughs> anyway, Jesus heals. <coughs> Jesus was a mushroom. Anyway, what? Hey, I know you. What's happening, Sister Pants? I mean, Brother Pants? Oh, 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 you reminded me of Office Space. Oh, wait, wait, Susie's back. We need to rejoin. Hold on. 610 WIOD, the other electrically powered toy for adults. <laughs> I knew I fucking, I knew I brought that for a reason. <laughs> Cinco almost down. So I heard, I heard, um, I have a candle, but it's in the other room. I heard, oh, 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 I thought of Office Space. Who I'm going to show her my O oh face tonight. Oh, oh. Oh, you don't remember that? This is awesome. From the movie? Awesome. I need a garbage bag. Where did you say you heard oh, oh, oh? You heard me? doing? You were saying oh, oh, oh. I did? Rewind, producer. Oh, that's me. Mark I can't tape, do that George. Anymore. What did I, what was I saying oh, oh, oh for? Hmm. Check the time, 2.30. All, All right, right. 2 I just, I wish I could remember what the hell. What the hell was I saying before you came in? Was I done? Was I done with my story? I think so. I, I say you were. I bet I am now. I say you were done. Right. Finished. Kaput. Like I said, that's right. That's right. We're back. And that, yeah, we're coming. Uh, all right, Susie, we're back in five. Shh, listen. 610 WIOD, the other electrically powered toy for adults. Man, I wish I'd have pulled another one. I wish yeah. I'd pulled one of the other ones. Oh, hey, stupid ass. You can go to this little thing where it says video file, and then you can go into these files, and then you can go into those. What the hell are they under? Son of a bitch. I forget what they're under. Oh, it's they're under Fadic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Greg. Apologize. What? You can. Oh, I got I to gotta drop something. Oh, I know what I can drop. I got to drop this first. I should have. I meant to drop the open many months ago because this has been a very long podcast. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're back I'm in five. I'm just playing it in music. Sorry. This is another snappy liner from the guy with a deep voice. 610 WIOD. Don Shula, I f***ed oh. <laughs> 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 hey, The funny guess what? thing. Uh -huh. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Chicken butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I want to know, I'll be able to tell you when I can breathe in a second. I just wanted to tell you that I have a. I have a, I have another. O U I O D. We're not Miami's number one station, but hey, we can't speak Spanish. Hi, right, this is G. Gordon Liddy, and they don't come any worse than Neil Rogers. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say that. Uh, what the fuck? Where the fuck is that goddamn thing? I Don don't... Chula went to the station to do promos a bunch of times. God damn it! I wonder if they played that oh, for there him. There it is. There it is. Remove. We got so much shit up here. <laughs> I can't figure don't out where the fuck Shula. I am. Don Chula. Who this, was the other one? So much shit. Dan Marino. Dude, the first time. The first, was it? Yeah, it was both. It was kind of both. It was. I was training with Jason Stem. Uh, the early days, my first uh, few weeks at IOD, and when mm -hmm. we had the Dolphins, we were the Dolphins flagship. 
Did I yeah. already, did I make water once or only once or twice? One I can't time. remember. Only one, once so far. Uno, not uno. bad. Two thirty-four. That's not bad. I, I couldn't know. remember. I can't so, believe it. <laughs> but it was in '94, late '94, and uh, we were the Dolphins flagship station. Sunny uh, Sunny Hirsch was the sports uh, director for IOD, and so he did the mornings. And I had trained for the overnight with the overnight, and then that first hour before Rick and Suds. Uh, was the, still the overnight board op was Jason and we were tra he was training and then in, in a certain day I can't remember if it was month I think it might have been Monday mornings where Sonny from the other the room next door in the sports office would hook up ISDN with Shula with Don mm -hmm. from his office at the stadium mm -hmm. or wherever but we had to come out of delay for it so then mm -hmm. they could so they would hear each other clearly like me and you can hear each other Mm -hmm. Well, we but so you had to remember to bring the station out of delay, drop it out of delay, that seven second delay. Well, Jason forgot that. So when the whole thing went through, and Sonny's like, "Yeah, we're well, here with uh, with uh, with uh, Coach Shula," blah, 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 blah. and then there's this silence. Seven seconds. That's a and long then Sonny's time. Sonny's like for waiting radio. and waiting, and then nothing, and then then Sonny starts talking again, and as Sonny's talking again, all of a sudden Shula's like, "Yeah, you're ready. Are you ready? Are you?" Yes, Sonny, yes. And all these things. So it was a fucking mess. And then Jason finally was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know, and he pops it back in. You know, he pops, pops it live. Mm. Uh, but anyway, from that was born many of the greatest Neil drops with the, the Don Shula stuff. You're mm. ready. Yes, Sonny, yes. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> Oh wow! And we had some things to do, or something. There was a, there was like three or four fucking great drops that came from that complete chaos that wasn't meant to be, but mm -hmm. you know, you know, we'd been it's the overnight, the last hour of your overnight shift, and you're like, oh shit, yeah, I gotta bring that thing out of delay so these guys can talk at it. Oh man, wow! It was hilarious. So yeah, if that that so if you go to the Neil Rogers uh, uh, YouTube. And the page, the Neil, I think it is it dot org or whatever. There's a whole bank of Neil drops, and a whole bunch of them are Shula drops, and that's a bunch of those Shula drops. That's what that came from. And I was sitting there with Jason training, and that's that big mess <laughs> when that happened. Wow! It might have been my fault. I might have distracted Jason with some stupid story I was telling, like this. <laughs> oh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. And it was called the cash machine. Cash machine. The delay. It was turn on the cash machine. The cash machine. Oh, no, that was different. The delay. There was a cash machine was a thing that would, it was a different delay where it would kind of sp speed things up so that it could squeeze in another 30 seconds. Oh, spot. okay. No. I just remember the cash machine. No, the regular thing, the delay was, you know, just... In just case a delay. said, fuck. Mm -hmm. So you could dump it. Just a regular delay. So, yeah. That's where that was born. A little history there. Yeah. Maybe just from that, uh, the Neil Rogers Radio on Twitter will, will uh, share share some of the whip, like he usually does yeah. when, he, when, he catches, when he catches wind of me talking about, uh, when he, uh, of, uh, uh, you know, these guys. And W-I-O-D, the other electrically powered toy for adults. Imagine cutting your teeth at a station that has rejoins like that. Imagine mm -hmm. that. That's how fucking lucky this little twat was. That's what I'm saying. This is another snappy liner from the guy with a deep voice. 610 W-I-O-D. Don Shula, I them <laughs> Okay, one more. And W-I-O-D. We're not Miami's number one station. But hey, we can't speak Spanish. Hi, this is G. Gordon Liddy, and they don't come any worse than Neil Rogers. Oh, speak of Spanish. Speak of Spanish. Speak of, speak of, speak of, speak of Spanish. That's right, I'm supposed to be learning Spanish. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that Tuesday nights? No, that's Tuesday night lessons. Sure. <laughs> Dude, we've got... Oh my God, 22 minutes left and I haven't even gone through my list. Mike Neal, I gotta say this. Man, 
my buddy Mike Neal that I grew up at uh, high school with, dude was on the news in Arizona, in uh, in the Phoenix area. Uh, he and a bunch of other uh, tradesmen got this lady uh, a new uh, AC unit when they found out that the lady had gone, like last summer, the record numbers, and the lady went through fucking summertime in Arizona with no AC. Aww. It was a cool little news story. Mr. Neal, that was cool. Had to mention that. Uh, uh, fucking Mike. Mike. Mike's a Harley guy and a wine so they, guy. Um, they Harley fixed and her, wine. Fixed her AC or got her an AC. And, and he and his lady have a place in Bisbee, Arizona, where uh -huh. Doug Stanhope lives. They have Ooh. an Airbnb there. Go ahead. What? Nice. They. What did they? They fixed her AC or got her AC? What they did got they her do? A brand new one. Ooh. A whole bunch of uh, trades people and the, the the crane to bring the fucking plate thing in and drop it in. They fucking pitched in too. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch. There were some donations and stuff, but a oh, bunch nice. of them they just did it. You know, they actually did what Nike, you know, says, but is hollow because they have uh, you know slave labor. You know, just do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. just fucking do it. Oh, we don't mm -hmm. have the money. Fuck you. Just do it. Yeah. That's because you keep using this money thing to keep us away. That's fake. Yeah. Anyway, there's a, an, an electrician in our area that does that. He does that for elderly people who can't afford, you know, and he'll he'll fix stuff for them, fix their AC. And he doesn't and then somehow he yeah, and then probably somehow he get, you know, he should be taken care of by somehow, you know, kind of oh, like yeah. we should we should be well, taken care business. of for our entertainment. You know, he gets no, business. Yeah. People see, you know, he's business, a good but, guy. Yeah. But he should Doesn't also have people. something else, you know, thrown at him for that. Yeah. Not that he's looking for it, but it just should. No, you know no, what I'm no. Saying? Yeah. Kind of like a little nod, some kind of nod. But in a real world where we don't need capitalism, we don't need all that stuff anymore, blah, 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 people would just do that because they would have the time because we wouldn't have, we wouldn't be wasting our time on shit that leads back to banking and the power for more, for other people that they shouldn't have. We would have more time for leisure and more time for helping each other. And uh, we'd be more fulfilled and there wouldn't be so many drug addicts and cunts. <laughs> anyway. Rumble. Dude, how about this? I checked this shit out where uh, I remembered um, Daniel Knopf, creator of Carnival, writer, producer, uh, and also Blacklist, a uh, bunch of other shows, mm -hmm. who's been on The Whip, Whip 114. So it's also on Rumble. Well, he threw up a thing on Twitter about his book, uh, Stupid Writer Tricks. And that book, that's the cover of that book is what I use for the thumbnail. If you look up, if you go back to whip 114, mm -hmm. that's the, that's the thumbnail. Well, he put a thing up for that book and I, and we follow each other on Twitter. So, uh, I commented saying, I, ha I own one of those good stuff. This is, and then I said, this is also good stuff with a link to the rumble link of our, of, of whip 114. Mm -hmm. And I look at the fuck the, the difference on YouTube where it first started. Thirty four views. Still, for some reason, it's just been stuck there. No reason. You go to Rumble, and where I only have the whole all that time, I only had five followers. It had almost two, uh, uh, almost thirteen hundred fucking views, with no promotion on the mm -hmm. Rumble with the Rumble link. That's how much, the point being, that's how much YouTube s continues to stick that sandy bone and, uh, and just fucking, there's a, there's, there's some kind of wall. It's almost like the, the, uh, the wall in, uh, uh, instead of protecting wall, it's a wall that I just can't get through. It's, um, or, yeah, maybe I'm the giant. <laughs> Not. Uh, oh, and it's, just look at it. There's a video. There's one of the clips that I just put up has three likes but no views. How's that work? <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, that's a thing because I was going to ask you about the Godfather and had you seen the Godfather? Mm -hmm. Oh, we did talk about I that. I saw that's right, the we've three, done the three. first three, the only right. three. First, is there four? Mm -hmm. No, there's three. Okay. You only want to. You only want to see the first two. Yeah, I know. But we watch three anyway, just so that I can understand why I don't want to see three. But I think there is, I, I think there actually is a better edit somewhere out there of of the, uh, of three. 
There's mm-hmm. a better edit somewhere. I think there's a, another director's cut that actually makes it a little better. Um, anyway, while well, I'm on my... Oh, you said you didn't see Outlaw Josie Wales yet. Oh, you got to see Outlaw Josie. Anyway. All right. Scratch well, that You got out. any pictures? You got any pictures? Because I, 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 I know there's only 15 minutes left, but I got to pee uh-huh. before I got pissed. You have so. to pee. So, here. You got that Does if you need it. Have a globe. You have a or globe. pink, purple, well, like I said, circular I'll be, I'll be smack. thing. He'll be black. Ooh, that was racist. It's going to be a hell of a closer. Uh, oh, boy. What do you have in mind? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I know I uh, had talked previously about Love Song, my favorite Cure tribute band. So there they are. God, they're so good. And this is uh, Rusty, who's the Robert Smith of the Cure tribute band, was having some uh, health issues. It seems like he's doing better. So yay. I'm glad he's doing better because they are, they are so good. Um, they're, they're uh, performing again. They're touring again. And they have something coming up in Orlando called the goth prom. So God, I hope I can go to that. I'm not sure if I can, but they're so good. So yeah, he's doing better. I'm glad I, I was worried about him. He had canceled a bunch of stuff because, um, cause he was sick. Um, and the last time I saw them was when they did the, uh, Def Leprechaun and I could tell something was going on with him. He was just not, he was just not, uh, not acting right. And every time they took their breaks, he was just not there. That's him back here in the hat. That's rusty. Oh, it's like, okay. That's him in the hat. But anyway, he, um, like they, they, I mean, they did a four hour set, so they were taking a break every hour. Uh, and every time they took a break, all the other guys would come out and they'd talk to everybody. But for some reason, Rusty wasn't coming out. And I was like, wow, that's so weird. Cause he's not, he's usually the guy that's out there, you know, meeting and greeting and talking to everyone. And then maybe... It was just recently I found out. So a couple of weeks after this show, which was right before St. Patrick's Day, um, they put out a, you know, a post saying, you know, he's been going through some stuff and they had canceled like a bunch of their shows, uh, their love song shows, because love song is the Cure Tribute band, but they have like other 80s bands um, and you know, they were like, we're not going to do any love song right now. We're doing other stuff. And because he was going through that, but luckily he's doing better. So I'm glad he's a really nice guy. He is. And he's like one of those, you know, um, where he really appreciates his fans. And he's like, I know why I'm here. You know, I know why I do this, you know, because, because of the fans and, he will stay and wait and see everybody that wants to meet with him after all of his shows. Oh, um, so I feel so much better. God, he's back. You don't have to go poop or anything. And well, no, that was um, this morning. <laughs> but anyway, so he's doing better. Yay! At least he's performing again. So excited. Where the fuck is this shit? What the hell did I put it under? Mm-hmm. Is it under? It must be under Wayne. Mm-hmm. Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. And this is what happens after I... Oh, man, you son of a slut motherfucker. Oh, we're, we'll be right back. Oh, wait, while I do that... Okay, I'm... Dr. Phil. No, 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 no. That was a David Tell reference, actually. This is another snappy liner from the guy with a deep voice. 610 WIOD. Don Shula, I f***ing <laughs> That's me after I poop, after I drop mud in the morning. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit, I forgot. I, I didn't realize I didn't turn my camera on, sorry. I don't know. Man, these metal straws are really noisy. Yeah, they are. Good God. I could hear it. I could I could hear it down the hall. What the hell you, so what are you Can I ask I'm what you're water. sucking on? Water. Oh, right? yeah, sure. I'm putting this water. Oh man, I thought that was fucking vodka. <laughs> But that was a bottle of Sky. I haven't had vodka in years. Mm. You see what wine does to me? Can you imagine vodka? Lord. Oh, boy. Have mercy. Exactly. Yeah, you'd be one of those people at a party afterwards that went. Hey, oh, I have, a, they had I have food? a picture of me. I have a picture of me after I drank some vodka. They had food? Tracy, that's a Tracy Hogan line. Oh, that's fucking funny. <gasps> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I want to see if we ever do mushrooms together. Please don't make me see that. Please. No, this is what you'll see right here. <laughs> oh, man, that's not bad. Oh, that's, an that's another one of my favorites every Christmas. I haven't watched it in Rudolph. years. Rudolph. I don't watch that shit because, you know, when they, you know, Rudolph is all about the mushroom. Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. Mm -hmm. no, was the it. reindeer, their nose, favorite yeah. snack was the fucking mushy, is the mushy. And that's how they helped their friends see through the fog. And that was the, uh, and also oh, the, um, oh, oh, yeah. It's, oh, shit. Snowman one. Yeah. And then, Frosty. Uh, here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow, fuck. God damn it, right. I gotta drop You're some coming shit. out of here. Stupid I gotta straw. drop some shit. I gotta drop some shit. I gotta drop some shit. I gotta drop some shit to get into some shit. Drop, drop. Yeah. Drop it like it's hot. And then, you know, like I said, like I said, when I do drop. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> no, what I was trying to pull up was. Is this the one? Yeah. See? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You know, same thing. E.T. Had a very shiny nose. And he, yes, he did. Why is red? Why did a want, reindeer have a red nose? Huh? Why is red in there? And remember, in this shot, though, see, this is the thing from Halloween, though. So that shot, that's not from when... Uh, uh, Elliot and his brother and his friends were doing it like the reindeer. This was the early one, the first one, when it was just Elliot and E.T., when Elliot was dressed like he was a ghost, like he was dead, like he having an ego death. The motherfucker mm -hmm. was flawed. And then after that, then E.T. did the thing where he looked dead and everybody thought he was dead. And then he woke, came back and, you know, because he was phoning Damn home. It. Ego death. Ego death is what happens when you have a super trip. A super trip. Oh, and that's how, actually, didn't mean to do that, but that's how I was finishing this shit was uh, 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 fucking Paul Stamets. I mentioned it earlier, but Paul Stamets was, uh, did his second appearance on Rogan. Uh, two and a half hours instead of only two, and man, some great shit. Did you watch it yet? Of course not. Is that the new one that he posted, or that's? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I thought new, it was. That's oh, we one. got the other one back. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, because he's it. back on. He can put his stuff back on YouTube, and the old the old one was still on YouTube because it was old mm -hmm. enough to where it didn't cut off at some point or whatever. Uh, okay. Um, but this was two and a half, and. Man, he goes into some tripping stories. He talks about the other stuff too, Lion's Mane, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was great. At first, I was having a problem though because immediately when I saw it, I was I shared it, going "dudes" to a whole bunch of people on Facebook and a bunch of other folks. Just went up and, uh, but then immediately he starts talking about like vaccines are good, and I'm like. And Rogan gave him actually a little bit of pushback, but not like angry. It was more like. But, you know, because he was talked a lot of he talks an early part of it. He talks a lot about how mushrooms are helping adverse vaccine reactions. But he's saying that at the same time, saying the vaccines can be good. And then he puts a little scare at first also into the new the new the new uh, 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 bird flu thing. Like, whoa, Paul, whoa, come on. 
Mm. But then it gets good. It gets the last. Yeah, it's fucking great. And okay. I don't know if there was anything else, watch. but yeah, I highly recommend it to everybody. But uh, always go with the whip first. <clears throat> and I don't normally watch Rogan. And we also the other tie synchronicity part of that is uh, he's also a birthday twin of Susie and I. So he's what I think he's two year. He's a year or two older than you. He was born in yeah two to two to he's, something. I think he's, 60, I think he's sixty-seven. Older. Maybe. Yeah. I think he was 67. I'm not going to look it up right now. Me either. So fuck you. No. Oh, fuck ye. No. Fuck ye. Who's we, sucker? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Who's we? Who's we, sucker? Smith, Wesson, and. What? Yes. And one. Look at that. Five minutes left and my daughter didn't pop in. Well, so Oh have, daughter. Oh well. Where have you been? Up to, to fix that. There. Little 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 uh mini trip. Oh, that was one thing that um that was one thing that Paul talked about was uh uh his app. There's an app. I can't remember what the hell it is. Go when you when you watch, you'll you'll they'll tell you. They'll they'll talk about it. Where uh, for people, he wants all they they've had a really good reaction to it. To where they've gotten really solid numbers from people who uh, go on and they you just do these little tests, or whatever. I don't know how long it takes. It's like five minutes to sign up, and then you do these things where, and you tell them whether you're microdosing or not. And they're using these things where people who you know. To see the levels of, you know, it's, it's a good little, uh, I don't know, it's it's fucking science, bitches. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's okay. full of, of, dude, it's it's awesome. And, you know, like I've said before, it's Star Trek Discovery, they named one of the characters after Paul Stamets. Mm -hmm. And that yeah, first season was all about spores. I remember that. You said does it. you? I does. I'm glad you does. What else was I going to stick up? My, uh, oh, did you, were you, uh, how much were you stick, you were talking about sticking things in, in, uh, people's penises, and then you were apologizing like this? No, I didn't. You know, it's, it's I right this makes me, uh, uh, this is the only time it doesn't make me tear up. Brother, oh, ain't that a sexy bitch? Ain't that a sexy bitch? Mm, mm, mm. Just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Oh, oh, uh, oh, man. I was, God, because I got to pull it up and I got to stick it around. But anyway, this is like my David Tell thing. Okay, right after after looking at Tracy, I have to. Uh... 610 WIOD, the other electrically powered toy for adults. <laughs> you know, because they was both sexual in nature. I mean, well, mm -hmm. I mean, Tracy's picture's not sexual in nature, but that's just, you know, kind of, I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, we didn't get Steve's drum, sorry. <laughs> What'd he say? <laughs> I didn't like that little pause in there. I didn't hit the button good enough because the thing had slid, so I like it more tight, like, you know, when I say, what do you say? <laughs> Yeah, it was a little tighter, right? Like more like walking <laughs> up the ramp. <laughs> Lord! Sorry. Oh man, we're this crash landing. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. Well, you're looking bored, sister. You okay? No, I'm good. I'm I know. Oops, I I'm fucked right. up, brother. I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What was I going to do right here? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to get prepared. I'm trying to get prepared for the end. You get prepared. This is the end. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Friend? The end. Anyway, have you had fun? We have fun? Three hours, dude. That went by pretty quick, huh? Yeah. When I watch this again, I am not going to remember anything I said.
Um, but yeah, that's gonna make it. That makes it more fun. <clears throat> it's gonna be all new. I'm gonna sleep on it first, though. Yeah, I'll just watch it tomorrow. I know. There's a whole bunch of people that have been watching with us have been here the whole time. As soon as it hits stop, they're going to fucking hit play again. I guarantee it. You know why? Because these crazy motherfuckers. Because they, 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 what? What are they? What are they? What are they? Crazy. What are they, Mike? What, what, what the fuck did he just say? Fucking crazy. I know. <laughs> anyway. Love you, brother. Love you, sissy girl. <laughs> Watch the Corbett Report. Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore. Uh, a lot of stuff. Follow me on Twitter. Follow her on Twitter. Look for yourself. Just a fun babbling lecture. We're, we're, we're. Hopefully we're not in World War Three. Remember, we're all Neo, a.k.a. One. Sorry I ran long. Had to bump comedian Joey Diaz again. Thanks, Gary. Daddy loves you. Ha, ha, ha. Messing with my peebles. In the words of Ron Ron. See ya! <laughs>